Coming to you live from the Alluvial Ruins, this is Optimal Play. I am Brandon. I'm Jordan. And I'm Drew. And we're playing Earthborn Rangers. We sure are. For the first time in a couple months of real lifetime. Mm -hmm. uh, so, hopefully we remember how to play. And can you remind us what was happening, Jordan? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we are dealing with an invasion of reclaimers. Yes. Which we think are, well, we don't really know what they are. But they're coming to us from the Verdessa. We were warned about them by our Verdessian friend. Is that accurate? I think we learned a little bit about what they were. Aren't they sort of like a overtime mutation of... I don't know, they're biomelds. They are biomelds, yeah. mm -hmm. for sure. Um, I thought they were like kind of left over from the like before times. Or, or our ancestors like created them, but they've kind of gone wild. No? Am I making this up? I don't know. Hmm. But in any event, <laughs> they're invading the valley. They are. And we are here to stop them. So we're traveling into their nest, which mm -hmm. is here in the alluvial plains. We made it to the doorstep of their nest and then took a several month break. And, uh, <laughs> and we're going to... Really, yeah, really um, uh, milk in that cliffhanger. <laughs> exactly. And we are going here and our goal now is to, just, uh, to clear some reclaimer grubs, which presumably are soon to be reclaimers right well and this also into the into the nest mission uh replaces the intro to the alluvial ruins so let's take a look at that now sure uh, you once heard solaro mako describe the ancient moss covered and vine draped detritus of the alluvial ruins it's a good thing you looked up how to say that word mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> ruins uh, Turns out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, vine draped detritus the, now i can't say it detritus of the alluvial ruins as peaceful but as you approach, a shiver runs up your spine. You hear a soft rustling, like hundreds of reeds rubbing together in the distance. You move quietly through the ruins and find a gap to peek through. There, in the heart of one of the ruins, you can see dozens of reclaimers milling about, and you see several bulbous sacks adhered to every surface. It seems like you found the reclaimer nest. So that's what we're going for, I assume, one of those bulbous sacks. Yeah, because our um, Into the Nest mission says when a Reclaimer Grub is cleared, place a progress on this mission, and our goal is to have three progress. Um, we haven't yet met a Reclaimer Grub, but this, we're about to. this does have us... Um, it's funny, and we were checking for errata before we started filming, because I looked ahead at what these setup instructions would be. It tells us to ignore this invasion card that would have put three Reclaimer Seekers into our path deck, and instead ignore that and put three Reclaimer Seekers in the path deck. So we've done that, we ended up at the same place. But then we also, it says after setup, search the general set for our Reclaimer Polyp and put it into play. So that general set is here. Um, Without us looking at it, who wants it? If it, oh. if, if it's, I guess I, we don't know. I literally haven't looked at it. I don't know if it's along the way or within reach. I mean, I, I have you know, my friend in I my I guess hands. it's probably along the way or it would have specified, like the lead, mm -hmm. the lead ranger. Speaking of, who's the, who's the lead ranger? Drew? I'll be the lead ranger. All right. Um, Wait, so it, it didn't replace the arrival setup, did it? No. Okay. So we'll still do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it is along the way, though. So a reclaimer polyp. Mm. It's a feature of biomeld and a reclaimer. Uh, three presents. And then when it's cleared by damage, the polyp bursts open. Search the general set for two reclaimer grubs. And on a uh, crest symbol, we add a damage to it. So it actually just hatches eventually. <laughs> and now that I'm looking at this, we want to clear it with damage because this progress is not for clearing or reclaim or polyps, it's actually for the grubs. For the grubs, yeah. And this is only going to get us two of the three we need, so we also need to find another right. source of them. Presumably there, there will be more of these, or maybe we have to wait for this to reshuffle into the path deck. That would be frustrating, just because the path discard and we just have to get through the path deck, but mm. uh, that is possible. Um, and as you pointed out, the arrival setup says, uh, so the Alluvial Ruins is where we have this detritus deck shuffled together from the, uh, path cards from three other biomes. And so, uh, lead ranger draws one. Okay. And the next ranger will draw the next one. All right. I'm looking at a hungry scroff. Cool. And mine is a Dolewood canopy. This is where you can, um, put your ranger token on it to treat each card within reach as exhausted but you can't progress features and stuff. So you can hide up here, basically. Um, okay. I think we're ready for turns. Uh, let me just be a good YouTuber and suggest that you like the video. Thanks. That's all. Uh, <laughs> who wants to go first? Well, I think Drew has to draw. We, we have another round. round path oh, another round of path cards. Yep, yep. So now it's I, I am totally deck, rusty. Yeah. yeah, it would be the regular path deck, yeah. 
Uh, the Tenebrae. Okay. You perform a test that interacts with the card in the same area as this feature. Reduce your effort by one. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. And that has a passage to read, but I'm pretty sure we've seen this a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Okay. Mine is a Toxin Eater, also along the way. It's a Biomeld. Uh, this is the one that when it is cleared with damage, it does two damage to each other card in its area. So that would pop the polyp. Yep. Uh, and if this being is within range of a ra within reach of a ranger when that happens, the ranger suffers an injury. And oops, the Dolwood Campy was along the way also. Okay. Sorry. And I drew a silverfin carp. Hmm. Fun, nice fish. Um, it reminds me of Magic Carp, which I guess makes sense. They are both carps. Something about the art there it says <laughs> the Pokemon Magic Carp to me. Mm. Even though it's blue and. Looks totally different. Yeah, <laughs> it looks stupid and has a wide open <laughs> mouth and it looks non threatening. I don't know. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay, well, I will take the only action that matters and play Oru. <laughs> I will take an even better action and play Quiet. Oh. Cats and dogs living together. I will play a pocketed belt pouch. <laughs> okay, we all had a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good setup uh, turn. I will also play Riri the Sparrowhawk. I got Friends all the cards there. I care about. Okay. Um, hmm. Now we enter. So the Tenebrae only uh, only triggers when you perform a test. So yeah. I could have Quiet just attack this Polyp, but then actually she'll die from this three. So this must be toxic. Oh, bulbs. yeah, I guess so. Three presents is a lot. Yeah, three presents is a lot. So I might, I might actually use her to deal three damage to this toxin eater, and then hope one of us can put one more damage on it because that will deal the two damage to the pod and she'll live for a turn. Um. Yeah, we could do that. So what are you guys thinking? I'm just. I could also just connect with the toxin eater to get rid of it. Maybe not entirely this turn, but. Between now and next turn. Mm, but that wouldn't deal the two damage to it. It wouldn't. Uh, does anyone have a weapon that would just... Nope. Shoot I have, the egg. I have my and trial, but I'll play it next turn. We, we don't know what Reclaimer Grubs are. So we also want... Like, uh, do we want to rush to putting a bunch of them in play? Or do we want to like kind of get more of our cards played and stuff? Yes. Mm. A question in my mind. Okay. Um, it will... See, to me, it seems likely that we don't want to rush hatching it because it hatches on its own after two crests mm. i just feel right. like the board's gonna fill up more and more like we're gonna want to just deal not, with stuff not if we play well <laughs> okay all right well um in that case what is worth doing i have to remember all the things you can do in this game i guess i'll remember <laughs> so i'll do three minus one is two so i'll draw two cards and then draw one of them well, I'll put. I can put this on the. I can put both on the bottom, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's what I want. I'll play adaptable multi tool. It's got three charges. Um, is the pulp a being? It's not. Interesting. Okay, so I can't have Riri attack it. But I could. Hmm. Uh, I don't want the Toxinator to blow up and take out Riri. It's like, Oru can move Riri along the way and it can start attacking things like the Toxinator, but it would ultimately just blow up. Mm. I'm... thinking I will just connect with the Toxinator. If I get three here, then I can um, just finish clearing it with Oru. Yeah, let me do that. Um, I will... You know what I'm realizing? Hmm. I forgot the whole, you gotta trigger effects. I don't think oh. it mattered. Yeah. If there's an active predator, there's not, right? Okay, so we're fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, sorry. Actually, no, you're an active predator. But not that active. That was not active. active. Yeah. Not active, yep, okay. We remember this game, we remember it. Totally, totally, we're, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to scout the top challenge card. It's a plus one awareness, minus one spirit. Um, 
So I was hoping to, to know that that was at least a zero, and then I could clear the Toxeter this turn. Does anyone else want to use this card? I mean, we can use it for its awareness if we want to exhaust some things. Does anyone else have another awareness test they want to take? Yeah, or if someone wants to um, use Riri to survey the way, scout path cards. Eh, I guess we don't want to draw more path cards particularly right now. Probably not. Mm -mm. You have an awareness test. I don't need it. You don't need it? <laughs> so bottom it. All right. Then I guess I'll go ahead and try uh, connecting with the Toxin Eater. So I will spend one Spirit Energy and two... Uh, what's the name of that again? I can't remember the name of the heart at the moment. We are rusty. But uh, connecting for three and zero. Perfect. So three progress, and then Oru exhausts to add two progress to a being, so that'll finish clearing it. That's all. I will tap Adaptable Multi-Tool to get a Awareness Energy, and then I'll spend to uh, to play Kinetic Glass Sculpture. Oh yeah, what's that doing again? This exhausts and moves a being, and I've got three uses. Mm. That was a fun reward card. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, shoot, and I took this test, right? I forgot to do uh, Crest, which is just one damage on the polyp, so it is one Crest away from hatching. Mm. Oh, did you Tenebrae as well? Shoot, no. Damn, Reducer okay. Effort by one. Yeah, well then, um, I'll, I'll still do everything I did, it'll just be in my area with four progress on it, and then Oru can finish it off next time. Okay. Or if anyone wants to pet Oru and ready him, then we can clear it now. Goodness, I don't have any. Drew has it though. I could, I was gonna maybe try to test into this. Yeah, I, I, I like you trying to that. clear the Tenebrae, yeah. It's gonna be a while, but... And it's a pain in the meantime. I guess it, it triggers on itself, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you've got all your fitness energy. Um, do you want me to try and dodge that for you? I was—I mean, I can exhaust it. Okay, then. But, you do it. Uh, uh, did I take last turn now? Or I think I went last, didn't? No, you did something. You played this. Oh, you played the sculpture. Yeah. So someone. I have, I have really nothing else to do. Um. Really, the only thing that I have. Well, no, no, I can play novice lens. Novice lens is my uh, tech that. Let me frame it so it's on camera. Uh, when I rest, if I have one or more focus left, I can scout a challenge card. It, it won't happen this turn, but maybe future turns. Um, yeah, the only other thing that I really have to do is I could pet Oru, uh, but it would risk catching the egg for maybe such a small reason that maybe we don't want to. Okay. Um, I will uh, use this to exhaust and move a being. Oh, I forgot you have that predator on you. Yeah. <laughs> um, Minor detail. Who wants this, this boy? What, what's it do again? The Hungry Scroff. When you interact with it, you can discard a token from an equipped food to commit an effort, and then it's a pretty basic predator. It tries to eat food and attack things. Uh, oh, attack other predators. Um, I don't mind it. Okay. And I'm exhausted. Oh yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will uh, test a traverse against the Tenebrae. And all right. Nothing to commit, so I'm just spending all three of my energy. Yeah, we just need you to get nine progress. Yep, and we're already minus one here, so we're also plus one. Ooh. Uh, and a crest, so three progress. And that will hatch the egg. Yeah, it will. Okay. So when that was cleared of damage, what exactly does it say? Search through general set for two reclaimer grubs. The polyp bursts open. Grubs all around. I guess that it's Drew who is doing this? Yes. It cleared on his action? So they're in front of me. Oh no. Yeah, what are they? Uh, response, when you interact with this prey, it fatigues you. Okay. Okay, it's a five nine. And is it a, it's prey? It is prey. It says, the sun effect is add one growth. They start with zero growth. If there are three or more, 
it grows, discard this prey and search the general set for a reclaimer seeker. Oof. If you suffered fatigue during this test, uh, the mountain effect, if you suffered fatigue during this test, suffer one injury. And then the crest effect, if there's an active predator, discard it, add one harm to this being, I'm sorry, add harm to this being equal to that predator's presence. So now we kind of wish this was back oh. with you. Mm. Yeah, we should have sent it back. Well, I can try to pet Oru, and I could send it back <laughs> with Oru. <laughs> so, sure, I don't see any big downside. So, I will pet Oru for one fitness. Plus one. So, it succeeds. It would soothe the fatigue if I had it, and it readies him. Quiet is pretty good about dealing oh. with these, because it's not a test, and so it won't fatigue me. Howling Wind is going to add two wind to this card. You may suffer up to two fatigue to add one fewer wind. Actually, I'll take I'll take a fatigue because I have so many ways to soothe it. It's annoying to not have any. And move this feature. Tenebrae, oh, move the feature. Could send that to Drew. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably the best suited with it. Next turn, I can tap this and send one of these somewhere else. And Toxin Eater says discard one uh, progress from an active water feature and exhaust this being to heal it. But The downside of putting this here is that now it's in the same area as these, which we're testing against, presumably. Well, I can, I, mean, uh, I, can, I can move one of them out, and then we can focus on that one. Okay, sure. And then... I'll have Quiet deal with one of them entirely, because she'll, she'll deal six damage and only take two. Oh, okay. Over she'll deal six? Of, oh. Over the course of two attacks, because oh, okay. they have presence of one. So gotcha. I'll, I'll do that now. I'll deal three damage to one of them. Okay. And nice. take one on quiet. I'm just going to exhaust uh, my exceptional tinkerer to spend an energy. And I think this seems valuable in this game. So I will add a use to the kinetic glass sculpture. I assume I'm not interacting with this when I use quiet. I don't think so. I think inter I think when you're interacting with something, you're you take a test. I think, I think. so, too. I'm just yeah. making sure. All right. Uh, I think I'm tapped out. I think I'm about ready to I'm rest. Set. Yep. Rest. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we're not traveling. This takes, by the way, uh, 12 progress. It's a big, big one to travel eventually, too. But I guess we have no reason to travel. And then refresh. Ready your cards. Get your energy back and draw a card. Ooh, that's a good one. So this is a very good one. Ooh, I'm really excited about this one. Mine's fine. Great. <laughs> um, oh, I'm very, very excited. Um, the, what is the Reclaimer Glow? How does this uh, interact with Predators again? If there's an active Predator, discard it and add damage to this being. If okay. you guys will let me, I'll kill both Seems of the good. reclaimers in Whoa. very few actions. Whoa. Okay, uh, well, we gotta do our We would let you, I suppose. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we should do that. Right. Right. Silver and Carp, Magic Carp. <laughs> yep. Uh, Unless it looks more like Gyarados, right? It's like blue. <laughs> uh, strong Current, this has, uh, it's a water feature that has presence equal, uh, X equals the number of water features in play. And on a sun, choose the card along the way with the highest presence and move it within reach. If it's this card, it fatigues you. So the current carries you towards the stuff that's along the way. Wrong, wrong. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I just drew a Reclaimer Seeker, so that... Oh, and it ambushes me, so it's two fatigue. Oof. Is that... Wait, no. Is that right? Two yeah. fatigue? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I forget how I get injured. Oh, and these have a crest... Or uh, um, the mountain symbol can cause a polyp to appear. So this is another way to ultimately get grubs for the mission. And then it says here as well, if you have two or more fatigue, the exhaust is being and suffer one injury. Yeah, on, on the so crest. Oh, the wow. Crest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can um, dodge it. I can dodge it. Well, no, I'll probably evade it as well. Dude, so it'll be that exhaust too. for the whole turn. Um, I should like I to, start doing stuff? I'd oh, like no, to go no. first, first, I think. You, you should do that. I'm gonna do a little setup. So I'm gonna use adaptable multi-tool to uh, spend spend an awareness energy to gain a fitness, I guess. Uh, and then 
for my action, I'm going to play a Memorial Sketchpad. Oh, good. Just get rid of this guy. We're saved. Yeah. Sketchpad, Sketchpad is, is here. Do all the work. Sketchpad's yep. OP. <laughs> I'm going to play an Orland Thumper. Ooh, nice. Okay, so you can attack. And I've got three uses on there. Should I send the Hungry Scroff back over to you so that if you take any tests over there, uh, the Grub eats it? I mean, this isn't a turn thing. I could I could use this to send one of these somewhere. But you can... Mm. I'm going to kill both of them okay. in, like, two actions. I've got it. Yeah, but they would also take the Hungry Scroff with them if we did it that if it if we did it that way. So should I move like this one over there or this one? Over sure, there? doesn't matter to me. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that. Send, exhausted. Send me the grub. Oh, it's exhausted. Well, that's annoying. Oh. I want it ready, right, for its crest oh, effect. Oh yeah. Okay. So here, why don't so I have Oru bring it over? <laughs> okay. Save save your use on the sculpture. This way, it's ready. And that puts two progress on it. Uh, it does. Shouldn't matter. So you want to try? It sounds like you you want to try and trigger that effect, right? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So I'll so just wait then. I'll scout the challenge deck. It is a crest, and it's a spirit. So uh, that's great. Yeah. No, I think that this is perfect. So why don't I go ahead and? I, um, mm -hmm. Okay. By doing it this way and removing the scruff, I guess it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna take two fatigue. Uh, instead, if you just, and rather than you just leaving it alone, I would have killed it without taking any fatigue. Why are you taking fatigue? My, one of my cards is, I'm, uh, one of my cards is the Cassende technique, which lets me deal five damage to something, and then for each damage on it over its damage threshold, I take a fatigue. So if this takes oh. two damage from the scrap I mean, and killing it, then I'm going to take two fatigue. It's fine. I'm I'm going to kill it. You're going to kill this. The Scroft does four damage to it, right? Oh no, two. equal to its presence. Oh shoot, I was thinking it was equal to its health for some reason. I always think the red number would be its damage. <laughs> um, and then Riri can do one. Um, okay, I mean, we don't we don't have to do this. It just seemed like it was a good way to also get the Scroft off the table. That's fine, I actually don't mind taking yeah. it. You can save the Cassenda technique for a different sure. time too. Um, Okay, yeah, so I am going to connect with the Toxin Eater. Uh, I'll just put in one spirit, and then I have a plus one. So that's two, which uh, succeeds against its two presence and puts enough progress on it to clear. And, oh yeah, and it's a crest. So there's another active predator from the Reclaimer Grub, or the Reclaimer, the Reclaimer Grub's effect. So if there's an active predator, discard it. Add damage to this being equal to that predator's presence. So we absorbed the scroff into it or something. It takes two damage. Um, okay. Oh shoot, this is, wow, this is how rusty I am. Um, I should have my conduit out. Oh, yeah. a setup effect. It's there it is, in Scepter of Harmony. I don't think that I have had any um, no effect tests, so. Just has one. Well, I guess I'll just have Quiet kill this Reclaimer Grub. Seems good. Okay, so that clears it. So it's going to go... Does it have a clear effect? Nope. Hmm. So it goes to the path discard pile. I guess I guess. Puts a progress on the mission. Nice. And so that means, I guess, the, the weird thing... So the only way to get a third grub is to get it out of the path discard pile, right? To cycle through the path deck, no, because... this will bring in a new polyp. But the polyp searches the encounter set, which no longer has any grubs in it to find. I'm not sure about that. There's, so there's only two... There's only the, the polyp said... There's only two grubs in the whole encounter set? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Sure. I'll, I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure I pulled them all out of the box. Well, um, this says search the general set for a reclaimer polyp. So there's no more polyps in the encounter set? Oh, that's a good question. The oh, no, that's the belly set. No, this is the entire um, general set. Mm. Yeah, nope. Interesting. Uh, so the, the one possible thing is that searching an encounter set does include digging it out of in play areas, right? I'm not sure. Um, uh, but if that's not the case, then 
No, we just have to cycle through the path deck and then start scouting to find it. We can take a look. Yeah. Wait, so what did we do when we... Oh, we didn't clear this. We did. No, we damage. we did. We cleared the polyp with damage, and then we pulled the two... Oh, there were the, only two. There were only two, cr- two grubs in the uh, general encounter set. Interesting. Maybe they're... Yeah, we're supposed to return to the general set, but they missed But it doesn't say so. Yeah. yeah. And actually, because we've had run into uh, errata issues, we actually, because gl- during setup we could see that these were going to be important, we glanced to see if there was any errata on them, and there was not. Hmm. On any of these Reclaimer, Seeker, Grub, Polyp, I don't think any of them were on the errata list. Uh, why don't I... Let's see. The strong current is the main thing that makes me not want to just take tests. So I think I think we're right that that is correct about how it works. Mm-hmm. Although actually what this says is if these respawn another polyp, you'd pull the polyp out. Hmm. Okay. Actually, it's not clear. One second. Let's see. Oh, you know, actually, I, I have the, like, online rules. I'm, like, awkwardly looking at the camera as I read this because it's on the screen that's below the camera. It says, if instructed to search a set of cards, find that set in the collection and search it as described. If the set is currently in use, go through the deck and discard in which it is currently being used. Okay. So you would just get them so out of the deck or discard pile. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Weird. It's still kind of challenging because we have to get a, you know, a third one in play. Yeah. And so the question is, I guess we kind of want to leave this out. And like you know, start building up. These that would be the most things. effective, efficient way. There will also be more in the path deck, the but is I'm yeah, gonna take injuries. Right. Yeah, on crest, uh, that's an issue. Yeah. But you can avoid it. Then it won't be active anymore doing that. But then the effect that puts mucus tokens out also won't be active. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. I have to I see. keep my I just have to keep my fatigue low. I think is the answer. So in service of that. Right? Or, or, sorry, whose turn is it right now? Is someone doing something? Uh, I don't okay. think we're in the middle of anything, no. All right, so I will play Nature's Abundance, which costs one. Each ranger may add one harm to a flora to soothe one fatigue and gain one energy of any type. Uh, a flora within reach? Just as a flora. Okay, so like I can throw a damage on this dullwood canopy? Yeah, I think probably that's the only flora, so we might as well throw a three on there. Okay. And then we can each gain an energy and soothe the fatigue. Uh, gladly. Okay, another fitness I'll take a spirit back, I guess. Hmm. I'll take a room. Maybe I'll take a focus, actually. Let's borrow one of yours, Drew. Mm-hmm. Alright, then, um, here's what I'll do now that I have the extra focus. I will play Solaro's Insight. So I'm gonna scout a path or a card from every deck. <laughs> Your favorite. One of my player. one of my favorites. Yeah. Um. We don't need that predator anytime soon. So I'll bottom the path card. I'll just reveal the top card of the challenge deck. It's a sun, so look out for that strong current. Unless we want to bottom this. Um. Maybe we do want to bottom this. Does this serve anyone any purpose? I wouldn't mind a plus one fit, so... Okay, I'll just bottom this. And then, uh, Drew, I'll also look at the top card of your deck, please. Uh, you can keep that on top. Okay. You bottom this. And I will... Bottom the, the card from my deck. All right, that's Solara's insight. Is the definition of scout and then draw one or no? No, it's it's part of the f- uh, remember test that says then draw one. Got it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I will. That'd be great if I got to draw a card from your deck. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, we're gonna try to clear this tenebrae. So I have five fit energy represented by that tower of yep. energy, and then I will use... Before you do this, you back. haven't used this yet, right? That's correct. Yeah. I think you should move this in front of you and oh, hope to, to trigger the mountain. But that would exhaust it. 
the sculpture when he moves it yeah, exhausts it. Yeah, doesn't exhaust it. Oh, exhaust this? Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, okay. that's, a, that's a good thought there. Yeah. Um, okay, so I will use one sketch pad, because this was, this is eroded to once per Once test, per test, right? yeah. Okay. So I'm at six, uh, but then minus one. So we're looking for a plus one to clear it. Come on. Hey. Got it. Nice. All right, so the tender brace cleared? Wow, nice gone. job. Uh, and sun. Sun is gonna add two wind unless you want to take fatigue to reduce it, those at all. And it's it's when this has nine wind in the refresh step that uh, it flips. I'll take two fatigue. Um, strong current. Choose a card the the card along the way with the highest presence and move it within reach. If it's this card, it fatigues you. That's those probably the equal. dullwood canopy. They are equal, so you could choose strong current. Yeah, it's up to you. It would fatigue you for one. Yeah. Um, but it would get it out of along the way. Up to you. Um, I can take it for another one. How much does it take to, to traverse that? Only four. Maybe that's your next yeah. task. Uh, Dolwood Canopy just says a ranger may remove their token from it, and that's it. Okay. Alright, I'm going to try and take a test and hope to hit a mountain. I don't really have a test I'm super concerned about. I guess I will try and... Traverse has progress, huh? Um, interesting. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just try and traverse that, mostly just to try and hit a mountain effect. Um, so let's see what happens. Nope. Um, okay, so I do have two progress on that, um, and then the crest is nothing, nothing, and if you have two more fatigue, I only have one. Nice. Okay. Man, I would have liked to... Oh, have sorry, I had to it. use my ability to actually dodge this to avoid that two fatigue also. So... Because I, I know we put some damage on the scrub as it got rid of the predator, but I also could just work on clearing this with connection. Um, hmm. It's risky, though, when we can't scout, so maybe I just hold off on it. Yeah, I would kill it. I'm just Now that I would take two fatigue, I, and I'm trying to keep my fatigue below two for the mountain effect, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not, that's not the best to do it. Um, maybe I'll just, uh, pet Oru? Well, so let's see, um, the sun's, sun's on the grub, three of them, and it gets discarded and we put in a seeker instead, which is not great because we're trying to get the grubs. And that's kind of the only bad thing. If I were to do something like pet my dog, that's the only bad thing that can happen. Because I'm not going to suffer fatigue during the test for the mountain to be rough. I think I'll risk it. Let's pet Oru. Plus one. Okay, so Oru is ready. I don't have a fatigue to soothe. And I don't have any active crests that matter since there's no active predator. So I get a charge of my scepter. Which is great because I can now clear this on, on for as my next action. I can't go next, but I can do seven more progress with no further tests. So I can just clear this. I think I'm going to take three like one-off remember tests because even if I fail, the crest will still trigger, right? Um, if you sorry, say that again. If I fail a test, nothing bad happens. On the remember? Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. So I can just draw, basically try and draw three of those and hope to get mountains. Uh, that's true. Yeah, as long as you don't have fatigue so that it injures you. The yeah, downside I guess is the move. You, you have to move it on a sun, yeah. But that's and, okay. And it has I'll ambush. move it to here. And yeah. If I have to move it back, I have to move it back. I mean. Then it, then it would fatigue you. Yeah, that would be annoying. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to do one for now. One plus one, so I'll draw, look at two. And crests are no effects. Yeah. Um, what am I doing? Am I doing anything? I'm gonna spend an energy. Oh, so yes. add, I guess, one here. Um, 
Yeah, I don't have anything to do. I'm passing, I think. Okay. Well, I will um, exhaust my Scepter of Harmony and use both of its songs to add two progress to the Reclaimer Grove. I will play Healing Touch for one spirit to remove a wound from it and add three progress to it. So we're up to seven on it. And then finally, Oru will chase it out of the nest for the last two. Nice. So that's cleared, and we have two out of three on the mission. So I'll again attempt to remember. That time I got a mountain. Minus one, so I failed the test. But we add one mucus token to the location. So we'll make the mucus token. Oh, to the location? Yeah. Okay, so if we had multiple seekers, they would kind of all be cu cu uh, cumulatively contributing to that. I right. didn't really realize that. Uh, anything else, Brandon? Um, no. No. All right, I'm going to do it one more time. Another mountain minus one, so I'll add a second token here. Um, and then I guess what I'll do is I'll try and evade this Silverfin Carp. Because there's no downside to that either. Plus one, so I evaded it. And that's the sun. <laughs> the sun's annoying. Sun does then, add, add wind to the howling winds unless you want to take fatigue for a No, because I need to keep my fatigue. Okay, so add, add two to so that. that. puts it on up to three, and then I have to move this. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to move that. Um, okay. If I, if I tried to exhaust this, I would definitely fail. Would I be harmed by that? No, right? Uh, not for a fail, no. The, so on, I, the only common test with a built-in fail effect is uh, traversing. So I think I'm going to go for it, because it doesn't really hurt anything. Yeah, the worst thing is a sun moves it and ambushes someone. Mountain, I, though. Oh, no, but now I succeeded. Mm. So I don't get the mountain effect, right? Oh, that's funny. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. I'm actually, like... Not a thousand percent sure we wanted more stuff dumped on us right now with all of our energy spent and everything. It would be kind of nice to do it at this top of the new round. Well, we'll just bring out the polyp, so nothing will be spawned on us. Well, that's true. The polyp's not that bad. Yeah. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, done. Okay. Um, I will rest, and from my novice lens, when I rest with focus left over, I can scout the top challenge card. It's uh, sunny with plus ones, but we dislike the suns. Do we, we do. Keep, do we want to keep it? I think the only thing we like about it is the reshuffle. I don't particularly care if we reshuffle. Well, Let's there's a lot of mountains in here, and I think we're looking for mountains. That's true. Actually, no. Yeah, I think there's, no, there's a, a pretty there's a below a, below average number of mountains in there. Three bottom box. Yeah. Okay, ready up and draw. Okay. Path card group. <coughs> Bless you. We got some rapids. Oh, uh... Oh yeah, okay, so those are along, <coughs> along the way so they don't ambush anyone yet, but they... Do they mountain move? effects oh, make it ambush you, right? Choose the card along the way with the highest presence and move it within reach, which is going to be it. Right. Fun, okay. Uh, Reclaimer Seeker! I got my very own Reclaimer, and it ambushes me for two. I drew a strong current. Oh boy. Mm, okay. Maybe I should get in my canoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the canoe do again? So, while your ranger token's on this vehicle, treat the presence of all water features as one lower, mm. and the presence of all non-water features as one higher. So now that the Tenebrae is gone, I guess... Just this, this canopy. This canopy. But, yeah. But we got three, and that's like a plus, you know, plus one to each of these tests, if I'm testing them. Yep. But it's a test to get in the vehicle, so it's like... Hmm. Don't forget about this, uh, Alluvial Ruins. Every time you when interact you're with the water feature, you place the top card of the Detroit's deck on top of the path deck. On a mountain, yeah. Not every time. On a mountain. Yeah. Ah, okay. <clears throat> uh, but that would make it... Well, that's not inherently bad. Uh, if we were like really just having to, to get through the path deck to find more grobes, then that would be bad, but I think we have two seekers that could get that third um, mucus, so uh, we have a route to find the last grub we need already. Um, okay, team. What's the plan? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I say we kind of just rush 
rush the end. I mean, gonna, I mean, I guess we can try and manage our displays a little bit. I mean, so so rushing it being keep spamming yeah, sure. keep spamming uh, challenges to keep. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're only one <coughs> weakest token away, and you know, I mean, I guess it's yeah. a pain now because there's all this stuff here. Yeah. Um, we could kill one of the reclaimer seekers if we wanted to. I could kill one. Drew, do you think you could get one of these various water features? Uh, Out of the way. I guess you have one I, on I, yourself. This is now yeah. three presents, so I kind of... Oof. Yeah, that uh, means when you traverse it, you need to get three, or it's a failure, also. Oh. I didn't realize that. Yeah. That is... Yeah, it's not good. Um, it's not great. I mean, I can potentially test out of it if it's... If I get a zero, but then I'd be spending all my fitness. Um... I mean, I can I can try and get rid of one of these. This one only has four presents. Yeah, and I can give you plus ones for. You can give me plus one. Those. I can test at two, uh, three, four. I mean, I could I could test at enough to do it if we wanted to do it. Would that be helpful, Drew? Um. Yeah, Is I mean. Is there any downside? Not really. No. Oh yeah, the move is annoying. But I'll oh. just put it on Brandon and let it ambush him. Okay. Okay, um, I will. I will. I'll go for but, it. But uh, by the way, um, I could scout a challenge card if we want. Sure. The other thing we could do, but by the way, is I can just kill this thing, mm -hmm. and then then we don't have to deal with that move. That seems pretty good. But then the problem is getting, like, getting are you one off the table. Get this blue one for sure. I mean, there's no for sure. The they might be the bottom six cards of the deck. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. But uh, I can certainly take some tests and try. All right. So I'll play the Cassandi technique for one red. If you have a weapon equipped, add five damage to a being, then suffer fatigue equal to the number of harm on that being in excess of its harm threshold will be one. So I'll suffer one fatigue to remove that. Nice. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. I've one, got another of those. If one, you need it. one shotting a big predator is pretty nice. <clears throat> um It's funny because the grubs are exactly five. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> the extended technique is built for the grubs. Okay, why don't I scout this and see if I can find a mountain? I cannot. It's a crest, and I have uh, enough fatigue that that would injure me. So I don't want to act with this reclaimer seeker on me. Would you prefer I kill that one instead of this one? No, it's fine. Okay. I could always chase it too along the way with Oru. Yeah. Business. Switchers within reach. What's that? Within reach is within your area. Though. Yeah. Okay. I can use this one if, I mean, just so um, I, just so I can get sure, a minus yeah. one. Sure, yeah, because the crest, crest won't hurt you, yeah. Okay. So I will test uh, Traverse against my strong current. So I got three energy and a sketch. It's going to be four. Nice. And zero. So that clears that, and I get a sketch back. Need my sketch pad. Okay, that's awesome. I, hmm. Like, I could, uh, I could push it back to along the way, the Reclaimer Seeker, and then <coughs> pet Oru. No, a crest, it would still be active for me, so it would still, yeah. hmm. Yeah, I can't, like, the problem with me interacting or taking any test right now is it's a coin flip between getting the mucus token we need or taking an injury. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you have like heal cards in your hand though? Do I what? Do you have those heal cards? No, I don't have any healing right now. Mm. Um. Well, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I can do is I can I can play a translocator on this. No, not that. It's not that card. Sorry, it's a different card. It's the Nicodite Sentinel. Oh, yeah. So that costs three. And now it has uh, two alarms. Oh, yeah. And so now you can selectively use this. Or oh, hell yeah. That's perfect. I love that. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Um, yeah, I guess I'll pet Oru then. I don't even have any reason to exhaust it. And uh, the only downside is that I, I can choose to give you an injury if you draw a crest. It's up to me whether <laughs> wow <laughs> you son of a bitch uh, uh, alright why don't I exhaust Oru to send Riri along the way okay 
Uh, just because there tends to be more things for her, her to attack out there. She gets two progress. Should that ever matter? And then uh, I will pet Oru using my one fitness and uh, see what I draw. Minus one, so I failed to pet Oru, but it is a mountain, so we got the yeah, effect we wanted. Um, I was not interacting with a water feature. Uh, choose the card along the way with the highest presence and move it within reach. Uh, so the rapids ambush me. Whoops, I didn't think about that Ooh. on a mountain. Uh, so that's three fatigue. But then we do get the third mucus token. Which and then if there are three or more, discard them to search the general set for a reclaimer polyp. And that goes, yeah, along the way. Okay, and when we clear, when this is cleared on damage, we get two more grubs. Okay. Cool. Well, it was a little wasteful to do that, but I can just kill this guy now if we want me to, or I can wait and kill the grub when it comes out, because I only can have two copies of any card. I guess I'll kill um, the grub. Yeah, because I can. Yeah. Always, I can always like I think always exhaust that. Yeah, that totally. Save your firepower for the grub. That they're pretty hardy and they're our objective. Yep. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, that action was mine. So who else is acting? Don't all, don't all <laughs> throw, don't, I mean, don't all I, shout out your ideas I don't know if I have actions, but I have tap things that I'm going to do. Sure. So I'll spend a glass sculpture and exhaust this guy and okay. give him, I guess, to me, or... And it, 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 it happens in that order, by the way, exhaust, exhaust and, move. and move. Okay, yeah. just so, so it doesn't ambush you or anything. Yeah, that seems good. That, and then I will... Uh, Exhaust my exceptional tinkerer to add a spin energy, and then I'll just add a sketch pad. Nice. Are we streaming or just recording this? Just recording. Okay. Yeah. Uh. I'm wondering if like this game would be so much harder if interacting meant also using a card targeting. And I got the I got the rules so reference just open, testing, right? Because that would be like. Mm -hmm. Um, nope, the first words of interact is when you perform a test on a card. Mm, okay. <laughs> it counts as you interacting, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It reminds me of those cards in games that let you not play the game. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, in Netrunner, like Bypass, or, um, you know, like the straight damage stuff, yeah. where you're, like, not actually taking sure, the test. Sure. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's weird out, because... Especially at this point with all these rewards, we have, we do way more exhausting cards to do things as non-actions than we take actions. <laughs> and those are all, none of those really kind of like uh, trigger anything or like have other impacts. And so yeah, we spend a lot of time kind of like floating above what's going on. Mm -hmm. Totally. Doing whatever we want. What I'm realizing is I could just have quiet pop this if we want, and then I can just play the Cassendi technique and we can just end this scenario right now. Yeah, it would end the mission. We don't know what would happen then. I don't know what happened, yeah. So is it a good idea to do that no, while we have all these rapids <laughs> and seekers? Like, maybe it would clear out all the reclaimers. I, Who knows? I have no idea. Yeah, Up I really don't. You guys. I, I... What does the undaunted hmm. seeker want to do? Like, what's... <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, the thing is, like, if we don't do it now, we're just going to draw more path cards yeah. and do it next turn. So we might as well just do it now. We still have a lot sure. of Sure, you have to sacrifice quiet to do it. That's true, but... Well, that's true. I, I, I would be losing quiet. We could also just... Um, if, oh. you, if you don't have any... Well, I mean, I guess sun is bad because of the weather. Oh, sun, sun is bad for a number of reasons. I was going to say, if you don't have any reason not to, you could take some tests trying to get crests and deal damage to it. And Riri can do... No, it's not a being. That egg is not a being. Riri cannot attack it. Mm -hmm. That's annoying. Um... So we would just need two crests to pop it. Oh, so and, I mean, I could also... And you can't do it with quiet, either. Why? Oh, no, it's being. being. You're yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, the poly... Oh, all right. Those oh, and my probably... thumper also only turns Thump beans. Thumper can't do it. Yeah, so we pretty much got to just let it hatch. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. It actually... It not being a being means there's few ways to interact with it. Interesting. Um, mm -hmm. Interesting. You can inter it's a feature, so you can traverse it, but clearing it with progress does not make it hatch, so that's not good. Okay. Right, that's man. what's what's that? Is that that's just representing it? You walk past it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like for, <laughs> forget that. It <laughs> yeah, it's gone. <laughs> See it. Um, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have so much. 
I have so much energy left and nothing to do with it, I guess. Because I don't want to do anything with these rapids on me. This is what I need help with, is these rapids. If anyone's got any way to move or clear these. They're a hazard. Oh no, obstacle is what I'm thinking of. Obstacle is what means we couldn't travel, but they're a hazard. And they have, they, um, they have nine. Because what they do is they keep carrying things within reach. And uh, on a crest, you have to either discard two progress on it or suffer an injury. So I would definitely, before taking tests, want to have some progress on it, which I personally cannot really do. Right. <laughs> well, I will remember, I think. Okay. I can do that. If you'd like, I can test against it, but I'm not going to be able to go anywhere near. Oh, the so problem is I have to hit three. You have to hit three or it's a failure. Two. Yeah. Okay, so it's a zero. And then any mountains? No. There's an active predator. Nope. No. Okay. So I draw two cards. Look at them. Or wait, sorry. What were you doing? Oh, you were just okay. You were not interacting with the water feature. Yep. Double, that's what I was double checking. Okay. I mean, I can test out a five against this. Are there tests you're going to take this turn that you want me to do that? I no, not particularly. And I can't really think of much else that I'm doing this turn. So I'm kind of thinking I will rest. And the reason I'll rest now is because that triggers my novice lens, lens and lets me scout the top of this. So you all know this is coming, unless you want to bottom it because it's a sun and that's our least favorite symbol. But I've rested, so it's completely on you two what to do with this. I think it makes sense to bottom that, unless yeah. you disagree. Okay. Seems good. This is, wow, we're like more than halfway through the deck. This yeah. is about the farthest we've been without a reshuffle, I think, ever. Because we did bottom, bottom one, 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 You're just double checking that we haven't missed one. Yeah. It's certainly possible. We've done it before. No. Wow. All right, well. You rested. Don't I'll, look at me. I rested. I'll rest. I guess okay. I'll rest, too. All right, then. <laughs> uh, refresh. Ooh. Yeah, baby. That's cool. Okay, here's a path card, Drew. Sure is. And it's a Cerberusian Cyclone. Oh, yeah. Oh, What's that doing again? Thing. That's sure. Yeah. Final. Awareness to test to evade. Um, discard one strength for every two efforts. Oh, yeah, so every three strength. strength. There's no strength in this feature. Discard. Move this feature, the mountain effect. If you move it to an area with no other cards, add one strength to it. Well, there are none of those. And then <laughs> the crest effect is move a card in the same area as this feature. If you move it within reach of a ranger, it fatigues that ranger. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's pretty dangerous. Because the best thing we can throw at us right now is the scabby. Yeah. Well... And that's the effect that we want to deal damage to this, because we don't have another way to deal damage. Right. Oh, no, we can traverse. Perfect. No, traverse doesn't do it. Oh, traverse. Oh, right, right, Yeah, we have other path cards to draw. <laughs> like another Reclaimer Seeker. Oh, and yeah. a Waiting Ursus. Oh, boy. Oof, okay. If there is a fish in play, move this predator to the same area as that fish. We each have a fish. Oh, oh yeah. The Ursus finds its fishing spot. Um... Do you want to scout and see if we can find a, a crest? I feel like a crest would be kind of good. Yeah, I can definitely scout. It's a sun. It's a sun with only minuses on it. I think we bottomed that too. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. Well, why don't I... Hmm. I'm just gonna, no, I mean, I don't know, I'm kind of pinned down. I almost could just like, if that Reclaimer Seeker is in your way and you can be productive in some way, I could just move it to me. Yeah, I guess it would ambush me, but, or Drew could move it to me. Like I, I could just kind of go into tank mode again, which I've done on a couple of our previous days. Did you have an extra energy left? No, I, I used it. Oh, you used that effect? Okay. I'm not worried about this because I've got this thing on it. Mm -hmm. Right. I can exhaust your Reclaimer and move it to me or wherever. True, yeah. But I guess I just don't really have anything all that productive to do. I could just try to clear one of the Seekers or the Ursus, start, start putting progress on it. Mm 
that's probably how I contribute here. Uh, it doesn't really help with the egg, but... I think if you took the Ursus... Well, actually, no. We want to leave that here. We do? Well, yeah, because the crest... Doesn't oh, it injure injures you if it's within it's reach. Within oh, boy. Reach. Okay. Oh. I could exhaust that and move it to you, so then... Oh, that seems great. Then I can connect with this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do, do that. that. Thank you. So it's exhausted and moved to me. Um, Oru can do two. I would need to connect for the other four. I'm going to... Hmm. Why don't I do this? Uh... I can put a calming presence on one of these reclaimer seekers, which gives us a way to avoid its challenge effects, which seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna spend uh, one spirit to put calming presence on this reclaimer seeker. Attached to predator, attached card loses the predator trait, and before a challenge effect on the attached card would resolve, you may discard two progress from it to cancel the effect. So why don't I? Man, the rapids are still a pain. <laughs> Anyone want to traverse these rapids? We have so many challenge oh effects God. in play that like nothing is not risky. Yeah. I mean, I can traverse. Those I can just risk. I can just risk an injury too. It's not the end of the world. Honestly, if we complete this mission, I'm not worried about us getting to three more locations after that. Like that feels like a reasonable, a reasonable day. So if we get you know a couple injuries or something, it's. It would actually be kind of refreshing to actually get injured. It happens so rarely. Okay. I mean, if you yeah, if you want to risk it, I say go for it. If that uh, you know, uh, all right. If that excites you, I mean, I, I I can I can do a traverse action on this if you want. So let me. I'll dodge this, mm -hmm. and then I'll just do it. Yeah, I mean, I can't traverse that, so I would just be risk. I would just be risking its effects to for every test you take, right? Yeah to connect with the waiting Ursus this is probably what I'd be doing. Um, I think I'll go ahead and exhaust Oru to send the Reclaimer Seeker to the middle and put two progress on it, and that two progress can now be spent to cancel one of its challenge effects. And I'll go ahead and pet Oru, and I just want to move it back with four progress on it is, is actually my goal. So yeah, this will go fine. I'm petting Oru. I just have to not draw a minus. It's a plus one. And a mountain. And a mountain. Okay, so. Plus one, pets Oru, soothes the fatigue. Um, then yeah. I was not interacting with a water feature. Uh, the Cyclone, move this feature. If you move it to an area with no other cards, add one strength to it. Uh, boy, who's got good awareness that wants to work on this? I can do that, that's fine. Or, okay. oh no, we have equal awareness, yeah. it's up to you. Uh, Drew has fewer cards. I'll, take it. I'll lean towards, I'll send it to you. Um, Reclaimer Seeker, we can add a Mucus token. Yeah, that doesn't actually... That's not worth spending the progress to cancel. And then choose the card along there with the highest presence and move it within reach. That's either the Polyp or what's the strong current's presence? Is it two right now? One, two... I guess it's just two. Yeah. So the Polyp moves within reach of me. That's really annoying because now only you can trigger this pressed effect. Mm. Uh, that is annoying. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, I will follow through with the rest of that plan and use Oru to move the Reclaimer Seeker back to me, upping its progress to four so we can cancel its effects twice, and this way it's not triggering on you two. Okay. Anyway, I've just done a bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure someone else has to go. I can go. I'll do one of these tests. So I'm going to... Uh, on the Cyclone. So I'll spend mm. one Awareness and one card and one sketch to be up by one. Uh, I like it. On this evade test. And it's just no minus two. Okay. Nice. So that, uh, I guess a plus one would have gotten two of them. True. But uh, I wanted to test multiple times. And then so, that was not a water feature. Uh, nope. Any mountains on those? Uh, now this moves this feature, so I oh. guess I'll move it to Jordan. Does that mess up your plans? That's fine. I'll just finish it, hopefully. Yeah, I can give you. Oh, a, okay. I can give you a sketch to divide up our reaches. Okay. Um, I'll probably just connect with the Ursus. 
try to finish it off next time. Um, oh, I assumed you were going to finish this one. Uh, the plan wasn't to clear that. I was just trying to neutralize it with Got it. The, the calming presence. Uh, the rapids are still annoying. What would it move to me? Now it would move the strong current to me. That is all very annoying. Well, now that Drew was... Maybe Drew can traverse the rapids. Or the strong current. Just to get something else off the table. Or the strong current. Oops. Um, it's got to be someone else's action, though. Other than Drew? Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll take this awareness test on the Cerberusian Cer Cer Cyclone. Okay. okay. I've got two, and I'll go up to three, and I'll Drew will give me strength. I, I can't get beyond that. So four plus one is five. Nice. Do it. Cleared the cyclone. You just get big sketch old pads, right? Oh yeah, and a reshuffle. But before uh, that's a crest. Crest. Just so I will spend one use off of this. So the seeker doesn't injure you. So I don't get injured. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ooh, if hmm. only the polyp was still out there, then we'd be halfway to. <laughs> Damn it! I really need these rapids off of me. That's that's, that's the issue here. Then I could just be taking tests trying to trigger that crest. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if you have no other use for that guy to... Because once this goes down to zero, it gets discarded. Yeah, I can... I, can, uh... I assume... Actually, nothing here says that. It doesn't say discard this one empty. Yeah. Do cards in this game generally discard one empty? Uh, I, think so. I don't think so. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to just do that right now. Oh, sure. I can, I can spend my spirit... And then I will... So I'm going for this current, or do we want to rush the rapids? Uh, I mean, though, if, if we get some progress on the rapids, that means I can spend that progress instead of it injuring me. Plus, if you draw a crest, so, you'll, you'll interact with all these things, including oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, that seems like the way to go, is, is my rapids. Okay, then I will... Just don't draw a sun, it'll be fine. I mean, I, and it will be fine if you draw a sun. That just triggers all those effects. So I'll commit three energy and sketch... Seems good. Okay. And zero. Zero. Okay, crests. so four. Yeah, so four progress on there and crests. Um, if this feature is within reach, I'm guessing that it means within reach of you. If you trigger the crest on the rapids, it says you must act quickly or, or crash into a rock. Hmm, let's see. We'll circle back to that one. Uh, you also add a harm to Reclaimer Polyp. Yep. And if you have two or more fatigue, exhaust is being to suffer one injury. Do you have two or more fatigue? I do, yeah. Okay, so we'll spend the two progress to cancel that. Cool. Uh, okay, that's great. So we so we can spend two of the progress we just put on rapids to cancel that injury. Um, the question is, do we need to? <laughs> if it's not within reach of you. Let's see... While you look that up, I think I will use my remember test. Just try to get some more cards and maybe trigger this crest. Yeah, okay. I'm going to remember my training. I'm just doing it with one. Was that a reshuffle, the card that you drew? Yeah. Or, oh, wow, well, okay. <laughs> I think it was the same card that triggered the reshuffle. Oh, weird. All shuffled right. Shuffled to the top. So I am focusing. Wow, minus two focus. Uh, so I fail to remember my training. But <laughs> I shuffle again. <laughs> but I do trigger crests. So um, I will spend the rest of the progress on the Reclaimer Seeker oh, wow. to cancel that injury. We will add a second harm to the Reclaimer Pop, clearing it. And then for me, I certainly need to spend two progress from the Rapids to not get injured. Yeah. And then the Reclaimer Polyp means that we will search the general set, which in this case is all in the discard pile, for two Reclaimer Grubs. Okay, I have friends back. You know, I don't know the answer, but I'm just remembering the delightful rule. That's true. Mm. The delightful rule says that it does not uh, injure or drew. Because yeah. I don't want to keep looking. <laughs> That's reasonable. Yeah. All right. I missed what happened. Uh, Did we had pop the thing. Pop the thing. Oh, they're here. Yeah. Okay. I will play my card. Is that okay with everyone? Please. Yeah. yeah. I'll play the Kasendi technique. All right. If you have a weapon equipped, add five damage to a being. All right. That clears. Then suffer fatigue equal to the number of harm in excess of five, which is zero. All right. And we're done. <laughs> We've done you know it. This card reminds me of. Have you seen Kill Bill? 
Yeah. The like five like point technique. Or oh, five finger. Five finger. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, some light reading one point one seven for you when we oh, complete yeah. that mission. All right. You run from the nest, half expecting to hear the skitter rustle of reclaimers following your tracks. As you flee, you are unable to rid your mind of the indelible images, polyps growing from secretions left by the reclaimers. A safe distance away, you review your findings. The reclaimers seem to consume anything artificial. While the Estian ruins were severely damaged, no biological material seems to be affected by the corrosive secretions of the grubs. Wow, they use the word secretions like twice in a single paragraph. You're <laughs> starting is, to suspect they that might That's a high be, density of the word secretion, that's true. You're starting to suspect they might be some sort of recycler organism, given over to their single-minded purpose. From what you observed, the reclaimers reproduce asexually. The seekers find a suitable surface and secrete mucus <laughs> that conjures polyps. These polyps mature quickly into grubs, which then grow into seekers. Left to their own devices, the reclaimers could easily overrun the valley. Oof. A single reclaimer can spawn an entire population all on its own. Oh, God. You realize in horror how important the Estian ruins are to the valley. If the reclaimers fulfill their purpose, no village in the valley will be safe. For each has repurposed what the Estians left behind to build homes, village centers, workshops, energy collectors, water systems. The list is endless. And Spire, the center of civilization in the valley would suffer the most, as it is built entirely upon the Arcology Ruin. Hmm. At best, they might devour Spire and the ruins beneath it. At worst, a sobering image of the entire valley collapsing into the yawning darkness of a kilometers-wide sinkhole seeps into your mind. <laughs> Whatever happens, you need to speak with the elders and your fellow rangers. You gather yourself by taking several slow, measured breaths. Your heart rate steadies and your mind clears. There is time yet to prevent disaster. Then you notice a familiar presence at the edge of your perception. Spirit Speaker Nal reaching out to you from across the yeah. valley. You connect as if sharing one mind. You focus on the still fresh images of the Reclaimer Nest and the implications of your discoveries. Nal acknowledges your message. You suddenly see images of high grass weaving in the wind, flocks of iron wool sheep, and a cleared space around the stump of a dull wood. You recognize it as the village of Meadow, and you understand that Nal wants you to go there as soon as you can. Then Nal's presence fades, and you're alone once again. As you prepare to leave, you suddenly notice that there's a hefty amount of reclaimer mucus clinging to you <laughs> in your gear. You decide to siphon it into a sample container. Oh, good. <laughs> Who knows? It may prove useful. Gain the reclaimer mucus reward card. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Delicious. C complete, the, complete into the nest and gain the journey meadow mission. Each ranger soothes to fatigue. Hey. If Benamon is in play, we must part ways for now. He, uh -huh. he must he head leaves. north, and he'll meet us in Meadow. Oh. Interesting. Oh, so if he's in play, he has to disappear because the story is <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reclaimer Mucus is a one awareness attachment. This is attached to a path card. Reduce the attached card's presence by two. When attached card fatigues a ranger, that ranger adds a harm to it. I've got to say, that's cool. I love this art. It's like a little spray bottle, like a little, <laughs> yeah, or like a little uh, watering can. That is cool. But that it's is, got this like gross that is inside. It's cool art. Yep. Okay. That's yep. fun. Uh, okay, so we earned those. We can uh, put them in a deck later if we want. Uh, I realized that I didn't get a pencil to update the log. So while Brandon does that, I'm gonna display the map for everyone and. And so we are here in the alluvial ruins, and we are heading to Meadow, which is here, which is either a, um, a river and uh, ravine pathway, or a river and grassland pathway. But either way, I'll let you know that I found a hidden trail. Hey. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> but someone else has uh, taken action. <laughs> okay, so we've completed into the nest. It didn't say complete invasion, right? Invasion stage one and it did not say the same. Okay. Invasion, yeah. um, and then on day 12, we got Journey to Meadow. Interesting. I keep thinking we're on day nine, but we're on day 12. We're pretty far. Why do you keep thinking we're on day nine? That seems arbitrary. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. People have been telling me, oh, I'm on day 11. I'm on day 10. And I'm like, oh, you're a little further than me. Hmm. We've been having that conversation a lot. I mean, maybe, they're, been maybe they've been more you. productive than us. Oh. So they could be further than us in the story. I don't have more Tell information that. than their day. 
That's true. We're so good. We're very efficient. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. We're pretty amazing. Cassandi technique coming in clutch. That was great. That's pretty good. <laughs> exactly the damage to take out a grub. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, so that didn't like clear any of these other reclaimers from play or anything, huh? No. So we're still like uh, up shit creek when it comes to a bunch of mean things on us. Yeah. Uh, oh, and the event we got was what was it called? Reclaimer mucus? Or sorry, the reward? Yeah, reclaimer mucus. I'm surprised it wasn't called Reclaimer Secretion. That <laughs> is a mucus token that the, one of the Seekers put out, and if we get to three, we're going to pull that Pollock back. Oh, so. yeah, we should here. We should use a white dice so that it's not, it doesn't look like progress. Okay, that's a good point. Um, yeah, so we need 12 here. Do you guys want to do a hidden trail, or do you want to actually just do the 12 and travel? I think we do the hidden trail. Yeah. The only question is, is it dangerous enough here that we should rush the travel if we can? That's what I'm wondering. Um... But, yeah, it would be nice to just do the double. You said a double move gets us to Meadow. I wasn't yep. paying attention as you looked at the map. Mm -hmm. Okay, like, that's pretty nice. Yep. Um, up to you. You're the one with the Hidden Trail. It's nine more on the Hidden Trail, so we would need a total of 21 progress across the two cards. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I just played an event, so someone else has to take it. I will remember for two... What is that icon? Do I have any of those? Um... Yeah, I will commit a card. Make it three. Well, wow, okay. Okay. Just Succeed three for three. Meanwhile, uh, so looks like mountains don't do anything for you. Nope. Okay, here's a hidden trail for three. Yeah, so this is a new feature that's in play that we can traverse. Yep. The nice thing is that um, presence zero, zero presence, so it's, it's a zero, so you have no chance of getting injured on the hidden trail, right. which seems a little surprising. Seems like it would be above average mm. likeliness of tripping and falling. Sure. But, uh, so, you know, next round, I, with my one fitness, like, I have no downside to, to taking a stab at that, that kind of thing. Well, you, um, no, you would still suffer, oh, oh, you don't suffer an injury is what you're saying. Cause yeah. Because you don't fail. Because you can't fail it. You can't fail it, interesting, yeah. Um, anyway. I can do a big old test oh, you on know the what? trail too. Um, I mean. Why don't I... Play the reward that I put in my deck just for the icons, but this seems like the hidden trail seems like a good thing to put it on. I'll put um. Actually, you know, what are we gonna clear? Drew, are you? Do we want to finish off the rapids next round? No, probably just leave those on me, and you two do other better things. Um, I'm gonna put the biosign sensor on your hidden trail. So this is a reward we got earlier attached to a feature. After the attached feature is cleared, scout X path cards. X is equal to the number of beings in play. That's pretty good. Which cool. should, so it should scout like five-ish path cards. All right. I will take a big old test on this hidden trail. Okay. I'll give you a sketch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn. Nine? I mean, I might as well. That seems uh, good. Actually, I have I have some benefits towards this versus this. Oh, oh, oh actually, no. That's not That's not true. So okay. Going. Because the ruins are our trail. They're also. both trails. Yeah. yeah. So nine zero. You did it. <laughs> and I will play walk with me as a response. After you succeed at a traverse test, add progress to a being equal to your effort. Whoa. Which is just nine. Damn. You can, just, <laughs> so, you can just take out one of the reclaimer seekers. I can either get out a yeah or, or a grub. But, oh, I mean, wow. it's up to you guys. I guess the seekers are worse. The seekers are the ones that are actually. This is the one that costs progress, so I'll get rid of yours because I've just got okay. these two on here. That seems good. And then I'll, I'll also clear this trail and attach it to here. Um, a path card, one path card was clear if you want to sketch it, Drew. Yes, I'd love to. And that was my entire hand. But That's cool. That's pretty good. Uh, and then the biosensor, uh, the attached feature was cleared, so I could scout path cards equal to the number of beings in play. Um, maybe slightly annoyingly, not including that seeker, but... Well, this is a response, and the card I played was also a response, so I think you can do them in either order. We'll just say we did it in the other order? Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three... Four, five, six. five, six. I'll scout the top six path cards. <laughs> and the one that's left, we bottomed earlier, so we didn't want that anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's find all the friendly people who are still in the deck. Let's see. I think these are the three I want to leave on top, and I want. 
I'll stack it like this. I think everyone gets the thing they like that way. And I'll bottom the other three. And so I did forget, I do have this mucus thing. And I have this. So this is, if there's an active predator exhausted and add harm on this being equal to that predator's presence. So that will kill this. Um, as part of the mountain effect. Which I, oh, yeah. I guess, I'm not sure which thing happens first. Is it the mountain effects? Or trick? I, mean, I think it was cleared at, before the before the challenge effects happen, so okay. I think we're fine. And then this one says add one mucus token to the location. Okay. I'll just yep. do that, and then if a third one would come, I'll, I'll do this to stop it. Okay, and Apollo wouldn't even be the end of the world if we're planning to travel, say, next round. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that was really good. Nice. Um, My deck's doing stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it sure is. I think... I'm ready to rest. I will just... Um, I'll just connect with this waiting Ursus so that next round I can maybe finish it off if that's useful. Uh, and since I have the spirit to burn. So connect with it for two. Uh, plus one is three. Mountain is nothing. Nothing. Choose the card along the way with the highest presence and move it within reach. Uh, that's the current. Okay. Cool. Damn it. Just enough happened to not get <laughs> the token on my scepter. But that's fine. I got three progress on the Ursus. That saves me some fatigue, so I'm okay with it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay, then I'm ready to rest. Arcology Sinkhole. Right. Uh, have we seen this before? There's a passage to read. I don't know if we have. I think we have. Well, let's read it anyway. 75. Uh, 78. In fact, we definitely haven't. We've cleared it. We've, like, we've delved deeper into the arcology, haven't we? Oh. Yeah. The land suddenly drops away in front of you. Luckily, you are paying attention. You are, and you catch yourself for you are tumbling down a steep slope, and you can clear it to explore its depths. Yeah, we did do that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Annoying that it has that two presence though. Yeah, it seemed like the least bad of the, <laughs> of, of the options when I scouted. Oh yeah, you've looked at all these. I have. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got a toxin eater. That's a long way. Oh, that is a long way. That's annoying. I drew Silbili, somehow worse than the Arcology Sinkhole. And the well, okay, I, 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 picked, I picked the best three cards. I didn't say that I stacked them from best to worst, because I knew okay. we were going to draw three. Should we read 82 or no? Uh, I doubt that it is anything too interesting, but let me glance at it. Uh, 82. We have not witnessed a masterpiece. As you follow the... Maybe we... I don't, I don't know if we've done this before. Um, as you follow the path, you see a woman perched on a rock a few meters above the trail. She sees you at the same time and waves. Hello, she cries out. You ask her what she's doing and she gestures to her easel. I'm trying to paint as much of the valley as I can. This view is beautiful, but I could use a person in it to help with scale. Do you think you could just stand right there? No, try to look adventurous. So she just wants you to pose for her painting while you're being assaulted by reclaimers <laughs> of all stages of development. So she's got a spirit and reason test to pose to heroically to add four progress to this being, um, which we would have to do, mm. I guess, three times. If you fail, suffer one fatigue. Yeah, and I'm guessing if you clear her, she has a helping hand quest or something. I don't really think that that's a priority this mm -hmm. session. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I think so. Because... There's a, uh, I'm like I'm drowning in the rapids with a reclaimer grub attached to my face. All right, Drew. I'm gonna <laughs> tell you that you can test on this safely without taking any fatigue. Oh, I love that. I would do, I would gladly do that. Go for it. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's see the most. Uh, that's a little annoying. Okay. I will commit. One. One? Oh boy, I've seen this trick before. <laughs> <laughs> I will commit a Strider because it is a trail, and then I will commit Determined for two more, and another Determined for two <laughs> more. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. How much do we need here? Twelve. Twelve. Uh, okay. You're that's... telling me you can only get eight progress here? I thought you were good at traversing. That's the best I can do right now. Even I got nine. I mean. Wow. 
All right, I will play this local fair. So when a ranger performs a test, they may add one harm to a flora to dodge each, oh no, each being in the same area as that flora, which is this one, but not that one. Mm -hmm. I was wrong, I'm sorry. That's correct. Okay. Let's say three fatigue. Well, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I guess you don't dodge this one either. I can, it's um, not that good. here, I'm here, sorry. here, here. Before you, before you do this, let me move the Toxin Eater to me with Oru. Oh, that's the one that I was helping you avoid, so I won't pay that. Yeah, Okay. I figured that makes more sense than playing the card. All right, now I'll take three. Sorry, Drew. I was all, so wrong. All good. And minus one. All right, so eight progress. No, it was, it was oh, eight. Oh, it was at eight. So seven. Four, yeah, so seven. Boo. And then the <laughs> sun. Wow, we've really avoided putting any wind on this thing. Yeah, we've like avoided the suns mostly, but yeah. right now the sun adds two wind to it unless you want to take any fatigue to prevent it. Oh, I just took and then a ranger may remove that. Okay, that's nothing. Okay. Sorry, Drew. All good. I can't believe I misread that card. Who knew you had to read cards in this game? Weird. Um. Well, how much more do we need? Five? Yeah. Two. Can you give me a sketch, Drew? It's not a feature. It's not a feature. Two, so I can test at three. It's not that great. I can scout the top of the deck if it, but would that card really change what you're doing here? Yeah, I mean, if it's a plus two, then I would do it, and we'd, we'd be. There are no plus twos. There are no plus twos. So we, I don't need to scout the deck to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> great. I can. Re well, maybe I'll remember and see if I can draw into some more um, symbols that will let me finish that off. Sure. Yeah. Right. Is there something else you want to do? Not particularly. Alright, so I'll, I'll test for three. Zero, so I'll draw three and... Sun is gonna... Do you want to take any fatigue to prevent the wind? Nah. Okay, so we're at seven. And then this is move this predator. I don't... S well... I guess this is another two fatigue that's in the way of other people. And it will... And, oh, Well, if yeah. I moved it here... Well, I'll just I'll go down to one, I guess, and then I mean, if Drew wants to add another token to it, he can. Okay, seems good. I will draw this card, and I will. I think I'll put this on top, and this one on the bottom. Actually, it's kind of late for this one. So I'm <laughs> on the bottom. Um, I can go ahead and. I'm going to connect with this Waiting Ursus. You know what, let me scout the top of the deck. It's a mm. sun but is that plus with plus fitness. fitness. Yeah, so actually I was... I think I can do it now. I loved the play I could make if I had a plus one spirit there, but I don't, so... I can get to five now. Okay, someone else needs to take an action first. I can go. Sure. I'll play paths we've run before. Oh. Two awareness. So choose four total moments or attributes from any number of ranger discards. Uh, and place them on the top of the ranger's fatigue stack. What I have not put together this game is any of my cards that help me soothe fatigue mm, particularly yeah. well. So this is like not that interesting to me based on kind of the board I've been able to get this time. Did you want this test, Brandon, or do you want me to use it to clear this? You can use it to clear that. Okay, I'm just making sure. I wanted it if it was a plus one spirit. I see, I see. Well, I, I mean, I could take three, basically. Um... What or I could take less. I mean, I'll, I could definitely take one. Moment. Solaro's insight is great, so I could certainly. Yeah, got pretty beefy moments. Yeah, I can right? take Cassandi's technique. I can take one oh, yeah. if you want. That never hurts. But if you okay. want yours, take yours. I'll do. I'll do two, and then you can each do one. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. So let me do the following. I'm gonna dodge this Reclaimer Seeker. I will take three fatigue to take this test. Um. But I'll test at two. Three, four, and then I'll use that plus one. To so get five. To five. Okay, so we will so be we'll able to travel. Those. Yeah. I do have to resolve the sun effects. Yeah. So this one adds two more fatigue, which would take or it to two more wind. That'll put us at nine, which flips it. So I'll just take I'll take one fatigue to avoid one of them, so okay. we don't flip it yet. And then I'll take I have to take the three more, which I haven't done yet. One, two, three, and then this sun effect would move this. I think I might as well because this is going away anyway. Yeah, yeah, so we're traveling this round, right? Doesn't matter. Um, okay, and then we're done. Or I'm done. 
Yeah, so at this point, I can't really think of much that I would do that is better than just passing and resting. Since we're traveling, none of these matter. Like, if, if I clear them before we travel and they all go away. So I think I'm ready to rest, even though I have full energy. Do you guys want to clear this? Because I can put five progress on this right now. Oh, the hardest? We'd only need I have five. More. I have five path cards threatening me, so I probably don't, <laughs> don't want to roll those dice. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. But yeah, like, you two are just color. chilling over there. <laughs> I've got the whole world is against me. I am in rapids with a strong current that are toxic, <laughs> full of wolves, and also there's a grub stuck to me. <laughs> you two are just having a nice walk. I feel like that's a bear. Are Ursus wolves? Oh, Ursus are bears, huh? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, what you could do if... If Oru was awake, is you could, or even yeah, if Oru was awake, you could take this over here to you, put two progress on it, then test fitness to soothe three fatigue because you mm, would try and find a way. That to would be nice. Time. I don't have to move it to you to. Well, you, this is all between you if you don't move it. Oh, that's right. To you, yeah. Well, that's no good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm ready to rest. I think I'm ready to rest. I'm gonna do this. Now that you mentioned that. Actually. Yeah, I'm so gonna do that test. Eat so, that fish. Yeah, two fit. And I'll commit this symbol. Alright, zero. zero. Succeeds. What's it so doing again? This clears, it adds two damage to this being, and then I soothe three fatigue. And you get a sketch. Cool. Yeah, sketch, uh, but crest. You snatched a fish from the water. Yeah. I will use this to avoid you having to take a fatigue, okay. or take, a, take an injury. Seems good. And then, yeah, I'm about to go away anyway, so. Cool. Cool. Okay, I can rest. I could rest. I could remember. No, I'll just rest. Oh, I will, I will use this. Does anyone else have a tech that's more interesting? Oh, I guess um, Jordan's is going to go away. This will go away, and I've got full uses on my thumper still, so I'm fine. All right, I'll yeah, just I don't have anything. Add one on this glass sculpture. Cool. Okay, we travel, yeah? And, and we double travel? We double, we double travel. Because of your hidden trail? Is this the first time? Uh, you've, you've added the hidden trail a while ago and then have been... Have we've found it a number of times. Have we? Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure. I, I remember there have been quite a few times when you like drew it, but oh, it wasn't... The stars weren't aligning for it to be, to be useful in that case kind of stuff. Um, here it's very useful. So we can go... Via the Rings of the Moon or via the Stone River Bridge, Stone Weaver Bridge, which will just decide what uh, biome we're in next time, right? Yeah. Do you want bees or do you want spiders? I feel like I like bees better, but it's up to you guys. Let's do bees. All right, bees are fun. Okay, so we'll go through the grasslands. Are we ending the day? Because that's a good question. Uh, we do. I've got. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but about ten cards left. It would start. Presumably kind of the next story mission, yeah. probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. And the question is, do we want to do that with half decks or do we want to start it on a fresh day? Is, I guess, sort of the way I'm thinking of of that. I feel like I, I still have a lot of traveling potential. Um, but... I've got a good amount of deck left, but, okay. I mean, we can stop if you prefer. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess for, for me it's just been not a particularly successful day getting set up and stuff, but... Um, the other thing I'll say is tomorrow it will be the worst weather. So maybe we want to go as far as we can with the only the howling winds. It's a good point. Because tomorrow. What best I just tomorrow. what I just worry is that whatever we have to do next is something that we'll only get halfway through and then not keep the progress. Mm. Right. Yeah, it could be. It could <laughs> be. Yeah, it might just be traveling to another place, and that starts the next thing. Yeah. Like. I mean, but that's kind of what we're doing now. So I would hope that this is the traveling to the next place to start the next thing. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we might, we might learn where we need to go sure. off from this. Situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, want to keep going then? I think so. Yeah. All right, well then, uh, we, I need to find the card for Meadow. All right, and I will... So all this, nothing's persistent, so we're going to... Yeah, all path those. card's all clear. We drew barely anything off the detritus deck, which is funny. Although I'm not sure if we remembered that. I mean, it only triggered. It only yeah, no, we were triggered it. when yeah. you're you're interacting with water features, and you could draw the mountain. Yeah. Which I only did that like three times, and I don't think I got mountains. And... Okay, for sure, for sure. You were the one who did it most, I think. So. Yeah. Okay, uh, water. 
my discard. Um, this goes somewhere else, and then we'll sh break this up. Meadow is going to have uh, signature path cards, I believe. Meadow is a little uh, like windmill icon. Have you been here? I think so, I'm but maybe sure we have. Passing? This doesn't. These characters don't ring a bell. There's a mm. trained horse. Cool. Yeah. Oh, shit. I love a good trained horse. <laughs> I don't know if a trained horse deserved an oh shit reaction. <laughs> yes. oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh shit, a horse! <laughs> We've been playing this uh, Vital Asserta game called Inventions, and one of the inventions is Domestication Horse. And like, I keep starting with Domestication Dog, and then I'm like, I must get Domestication Horse. You've never pulled it off? No, I have. Oh. Well, but it doesn't really matter that much. It's like it's not a very thematic game. It's a good story. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, all right. Um, okay, yeah, you have the grasslands set here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Water, okay. Water, water, water. Uh, is meadow a ruin or forest? It is not, so there's no reclaimers here from the invasion. And then we will do the arrival setup. In fact, the first thing you do is search the path deck, so I don't even know why I'm shuffling it. But first we resolve the journey, which is always 1.50. I don't think you've done much reading today, Drew. Starting down the, in the lower right corner. And we're arriving at Meadow. Oh, probably backwards, oh, yeah. Backwards, yeah. Interesting, interesting. You emerge from the tall grass and arrive in meadow, just in time to watch the swift land gracefully on the village green. There's Benamon. Benamon yeah. steps out and waves, <laughs> followed by Cordo and Elder Thrush. Thrush comes striding across the green. Cordo, a grim expression on his face, stands nearby with a long-barreled whisper-crack darter cradled in one arm. Thrush stops in front of you, studying you intently for a long moment before speaking. I came as soon as I could, she gestures. Walk with me and tell me what you know of the Reclaimers. You finish your account over a late but welcome meal in Meadow's common house. Calypsa and Cal Iver arrived partway through the telling. Benamon and several of the villagers, including Elder Abel, have gathered, all listening intently to your description of the Reclaimers, their rapid life cycle, and the danger they pose to the valley, and to Spire in particular. Thrush listens closely, occasionally asking insightful questions. You've done well, she says. A group of seasoned veterans could hardly have done better. I believe your assessment is correct. We have to find some way to stop these Reclaimers, or at least limit the destruction they might cause. Elder Abel shakes her head. A bunch of ruin-eating biomelds that reproduce and spawn in a matter of hours? How are we supposed to stop that? Seems like we should be thinking of getting folks out of Spire as soon as we can and letting the Reclaimers have it. Hmm. You hear murmurs of agreement from the crowd. Cordo's eyes flash angrily, but before he can speak, Thrush raises her hand. Just because they are drawn to Spire now does not mean they will remain there for forever. Besides, even if we could evacuate the largest village in the valley, None of us know just how far the Arcology Ruin extends underground. If the Reclaimers consume too much, they could undermine the entire valley. She looks back at you. No, I'm afraid the Reclaimers must be dealt with. And since you have learned the most about them, you're the best equipped to find a solution. Uh, complete the Journey Meadow mission and mm -hmm. gain the Remove the Reclaimers mission. Ooh, okay. Each ranger soothes to fatigue. Oh, love that. You are not alone in this, Thrush says. We will travel to each village and share what you've learned with others in hopes of finding a solution. She turns to the room. You have all heard the story of the Reclaimers, she says to several mutters of agreement. Does anyone here have an idea for how we might stop them? Benamon speaks up. There is a skilled hunter who lives in Tumbledown. I hear this hunter regularly travels to the swamp uh, to prune hydra worms, some of the most <laughs> mindlessly violent biomelds in the valley. Perhaps she could provide some insight. Elder Abel grunts. No offense to the great hunters in our presence, but attacking the reclaimers sounds like a fool's errand. 
If you'll recall, we were first made aware of these reclaimers thanks to a flood. Killed a, sc a score of them stone dead. Does anyone know where the shaper who caused the flood ran off to? Maybe he can do that again. Hmm. Calypso steps forward. No, Elder Abel, but I've learned that his sister lives in Spire. She may know where he's gone. Elder Thrush nods in satisfaction. Thank you all, she says, then turns to you. Two solid leads. Good luck, and may the ancestors guide you. Two? That's it. Yeah, because we could go talk to presumably Cassende, who like kills the worms, or to the flooding person's sister in Spire. I got that. The reason I say two is because Remove the Reclaimers, the mission, says, Search the valley for options on how to deal with the mounting Reclaimer invasion before it overwhelms the valley. Then in the rules text, there are three different options to discover. <laughs> <laughs> Talk with people around the valley who you think might have ideas for how to find oh, them. Oh, There's that's so fun. There's mystery a is there a third yeah. one? Yeah. yeah, I love that. I'm sure there is. Unless um, that's around. So it was Cassenda and I wanted to just like write this down so we don't forget. It was Cassenda in the Swamp. Cassenda in the Swamp. I mean, it didn't say Cassenda, but I'm assuming it's Cassenda. Oh, yeah, yeah, the hunter that regularly travels to the swamp yeah. to bring hydro yeah. yeah, that was her. And then the other one is the sister, sister of, of the shaper, the shaper in Spire. Uh, Spire. Okay. What do we think it means to go find... Like, is, is Cassandra just in the valley set? They told us she's in Tumbledown. It said go to Tumbledown to find her. Oh, so we'd be going back down to here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I lean towards going in the direction that is not the same treadmill of up and down this yeah. section of the world we've been on for the last four days. <laughs> you me. I think Cassende's technique is super valuable. <laughs> you you already know that. Yeah, so we don't we don't know. Know. Well, who knows what else yeah. she knows? She's really good at, with killing these reclaimers. I mean, she's the best at it. I think I would talk to her. What if she's a companion that you can like play and it's like but you know deal who, twelve damage to three different reclaimers? You know who else are <laughs> who awesome and helpful? Shapers. Not in my experience. <laughs> <laughs> Shapers like me. Let's go talk to my sister in Spire. <laughs> you got to you. Oh shit. Um. Wait, old Ben. Are you Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> Terrible joke. <laughs> that was. That was pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, they also Spire's more convenient. Spire's two moves away instead of three. Uh, it's fine. You guys outvoted me. We're going to Spire, it seems like. I mean, I am I interested to spend some time in the swamp, but Tumbledown's not the swamp. No, so. it's not. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, let's do, the, let's do the Shaper one. That's fine. And yeah. Drew was right, by the way. Or this is just... the go to the next place. Yeah. Is this quest says <laughs> go to another place. Which is yep, funny. Yep. We just met in the fields. But you were yeah. way off because it says go to one of a couple places. Oh, that's, oh, true. that's yeah. so true. Yeah. I'm hmm. Maybe we should just like explore around and look for the secret third <laughs> option. Well, I wonder how hard it would be to find. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say, since we haven't been to Meadow, maybe we want to meet some of the That's true. Here. Maybe there's not a lead in um, yeah, I, the story that I and this frustrates me, like I feel like mo what most people that you meet do is give you like a helping hand quest that then has to be completed that day. So if we spend, you know, five of my ten remaining cards looking around Meadow, all of a sudden we're not going to be able to actually finish anything we find. Um, so I don't know. I mean, we can just end the day. Like, we're allowed to do that, right? You're not supposed to. You're not supposed Arriving to. Arriving is the start of a new... It's only when you arrive? It's only, it's only when you or travel you exhaust, again. right? It's when you, yeah, it's when you fatigue out or when you decide to camp, but that's when you leave a location that you decide mm -hmm. to camp. But can't you just voluntarily take a bunch of fatigue? And you just don't sure, we've done that once before, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah, think yeah. we've just been like, yeah, we'll just end the day. I mean, you just, you, um, just don't, you just don't get the benefits of camping. Sure, yeah. I mean, not that we should do that, but I'm just saying if you wanted to, we could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess I lean towards maybe we'll meet some of the things in Meadow and see what they're up to, but and generally tra fine. travel out of here at least. Yeah, make, make it one or two travels. All right, so lead ranger, search the path deck for the whispering fields and put it into play. And we're on remove the reclaimers instead of the journey. Okay. Whispering fields. All right, and then the next ranger will draw a path card. It is a morning route. This is the one you can slice and share the tear-inducing vegetable to add harm to this. Suffer fatigue and choose a ranger to soothe three fatigue. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Response, when you would draw a path card, oh. instead of attach it face down to this feature. Oh, the Whispering Fields are That's that right. thing? When this feature enters play, draw a path card. Oh. Wait. So, 
There should be oh. two under this now. So that, okay, so let me just reshuffle yeah. the deck again. Um, its presence is equal to twice the number of face-down cards attached to it. As an awareness test, sense the movement in the tall grass to choose a number of attached face-down locations at random, equal to your effort, and look them. Choose one to put into play. If it has the ambush keyword, treat it as if it does not. And a sun puts a random card here into play. So this just kind of like delays them coming into play. So it would be real easy to just travel the heck out of here. <laughs> If that's what we want to do. Mm. Yeah, it's not an obstacle. Um, yeah, I mean, the other thing we can do is I, I can... I mean, I don't have my shovel, but if I can find my shovel, I can so kill that. So, this... Uh, sorry. Uh, mm. When this enters play, draw a path card. So, this is that one. This is the one that I channel. then drew. Right. And, yeah, so you can't... You now, can't we're, now we're going to draw three more. And now we're putting three more under it. Wow. So, it's... Um, X is equal to... Twice the oh twice the number of face down cards. Right. So you have oh to so this has a presence of ten. That's so you want to dodge it if you're going to traverse us. Yeah. Right. And we need twelve progress to travel. All right. So who's acting? I guess for so for now we just want to travel. Seems that is way. that where we landed? Okay. And we definitely have been. Oh no no no. Never mind. I'm not sure if we've been to Meadow or not. We've been at this location, but. At the very least, we want to remove this, because then we can, if you guys want to look through that deck for new people, we still can. Once this is, because we oh, can't see sure. anything once yeah. it's, here, you know, it's like... Well, we can look for those things here with big awareness tests. Like, this kind of have, can help us find specific cards oh, in, yeah, that's in its own interesting, way. interesting, because yeah. you, can, you can sense and you can pick the one you want. Yeah. Hmm. You, look at, you look at cards equal to your test result. Hmm. Do you want to do that, Brandon? Do you want to see if there's a person under there? Sure. The problem is that you have to choose one. So if they're all terrible, you still have to bring one. How yeah, terrible could they be? They're just mostly bees. Okay. I ain't afraid of bees. Okay. Um, I'll put a connection symbol into this. So, uh, and then two awareness. So three effort to sense the movement in the tall grass. Oh, I can give you one too. Oh, thanks. Yeah, sure. it's uh, it is. So four efforts. Minus one is three. So... Choose a number of attached face down cards at random equal to your effort and look at them. I guess they were my, basically random anyway. Uh, choose one to put into play. If it has the ambush keyword, it does not ambush you. Uh, none of these are meadow things. Uh, I will just take the humble artilope. There was another artilope and a flora in here, like a food one that's a good thing, but. I'm good at dealing with the beings, so I'll take it. There are now only eight fatigue when you traverse this through. <laughs> Great. Um, oh, and that was a mountain symbol, um, which I guess triggers this, annoyingly. Uh, but if there's an active predator exhausted, it doesn't. Okay. Great. Finally, I got a uh, use on a song on my scepter. Who's up? Um, Drew, do you want to proceed? Um, okay, well, I I will play this. question is, who do we want to use it? And so what is it? This is the right tool. Uh, mm -hmm. Choose a ranger. That ranger may discard one of their equipped gear to search the ranger deck for a gear and equip it without paying its energy cost. So if you wanted to find your shovel, you'd have to give up the thumper. I'm fine to do that. Or I have this useless canoe, and then I could definitely just find something good. It's up to you. Do you have um, a way to deal with this? Do you, do we need to deal with this? It's, I mean, we could just keep funneling cards yeah. out of it and kind of play with that, it that way. But you, We would just need to keep doing that three times per round to keep up with the, all the path cards going under it, which is a big tax. I think I like the idea of, of the shovel to just clear it. But it's up to you. It's up to you, Drew. It's your card. Um, I have... I have stuff in hand I can overwrite this with, so if you want to do it. The problem is, if it's if it's in your fatigue stack, you're discarding this and having no effect. Or I guess you can pick something else. Yeah, I mean, the downside of... I mean, there's two cards in here I don't know what they are, so if it's well, it's one of those two, then I'm in it's, trouble. It's impossible that it's no. there. Yeah. There's there no we way. go. There, see? Nice. Shovel. Shovel. Easy. All right, so in that case... And sorry, that was just part of the uh, your... Uh, Events effect that, or your moments effect that he had to discard right one. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I was looking over, I was like, he's not full on slots. Yep. Okay. So can you give me a bump when I spirit test this feature? Sketch. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'll spend one plus one from you is two. 
plus four more to six. You're shoveling it? I'm shoveling it. Plus one is seven, so that'll do it. Eight. Wow. All right. Um, <laughs> Dug up the whole Do all of these field. get discarded? I assume so. I believe so. I guess sketch back. Attached cards get discarded when something leaves. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I did draw um, some. Okay, yeah. it was four <laughs> just uh, Grasslands cards, so... I see what I are these not more sketches? Is, it, is the grasslands not the bee one? Because none of these are bees. It's it it might be the old, old growth. Old growth. Oh, okay, yeah. I was I was getting confused. Um, and uh, we do have a sun and a reshuffle, so the sun's going to add two wind to this. I don't think we're going to stop this from going over. Yeah, sure. Turn, so we can we'll let it flip. That. I'll reshuffle this. Okay. Good um, teamwork. Right. Well, this is a great time for me to keep to like spam tests because there's so few crests in I also play. Like the thing with that. You're like, you know what would be good against this plant is your <laughs> shovel. And I'm like, oh, you're right. Good that, idea. That is, the, that, that is the right yeah. tool. That's funny. Um. Also, if anyone wants to scout the path deck, uh, you can use Riri's awareness test. I've used all my energy, but it's a thing. Um. I will just uh, connect with this Artilope, and I will put, I'm going to put two energy into this, only because I might rather do it multiple times than, and, and try to get more uh, Scepter charges. So, connecting with it for two, it's a zero, um, so I get to progress on it, and annoyingly the sun is the one uh, symbol that does not put a token on my Scepter because it does trigger the weather, so it's up to 12 wind for what that's worth. Uh, and if there's an active card with two or more presents, shuffle this being into the path deck and draw a path card, but there is not. An active what? Card with two or more presents. Mm, oh, uh, two. Active card. Oh! Oru scares away the Artilope. Huh. I guess he does. <laughs> Interesting. Didn't think about that. And then that draws a path card. Uh, yeah, it shuffles in, so I might just get the same one. Uh, Elder Jular Abel. Let's see what they have to say. 69. Nice. They were mentioned in the, our little question briefing, right? Oh. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we have not... No, the only lure we've done is quiet. Okay. There was an, uh, there's a line that says, if you've completed lure, old bloody clicker. Which, um... That's a fascinating premise because I hate the old bloody clicker, <laughs> yeah. and when we lured Quiet, it we took it, per it took it permanently out of the path card set. Yeah. yeah. So that'd be. And then we got it as a card. <laughs> yeah, card. yeah. We have the old bloody clicker card. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty sick. That's hard to picture being that <laughs> yeah. card, but maybe. maybe. <laughs> um, or maybe you just like rip it apart and you get like, like it's, a sword it's, or something. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> tooth or something. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> You hear someone stomping through the thick grass long before you see Jular Abel, Meadow's foremost elder. She's walking with powerful, heavy strides, poking at the ground with a stout walking staff. She's so preoccupied, you have to call her name twice before she notices you. Clear Elder Abel with progress to ask her if she needs help around Meadow. Oh, interesting. Because she also has the, um, the listen to your elders to return a moment from your hand to the collection to choose a starting Oh, moment. yeah, you can um, change a, a moment here. Okay. Uh, that also, I assume that also would add progress to her. No, it wouldn't. It would not, no. Um, okay, I like the idea of... Try it only takes six progress to clear her, so yeah. I like the idea of doing that. Check go for it. it. Uh, I took the last action, so someone else can go, but I then I'll circle back go. to it. I'm going to play this Infusion Canteen. Check the canoe. So for one focus, and it's got three sips of uh, fitness energy. Nice. Okay, I'll connect with the Elder, just spending... Oh, it takes two progress to connect with them. Well, I'll scout the top of the challenge deck. It's a zero, so that wouldn't do it. Uh, Crest is good, though, for charging up my Scepter. So I'll go ahead and put an icon into this so that it will be two efforts. And I'll do the Spirit Test, so I get two progress on the Elder and... Crest does not trigger any effects since there's no active predator for the Elder, so I will get a song on my scepter. Okay, that was that action. Okay. I will traverse. So I'm going to spend one fitness energy. I'll gain it for my infusion canteen. And then 
How much do we need? 12? Um, I'll commit two striders and a determined, which is Jeez. Like three. <laughs> so that's a total of 10. Seems all right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a zero? That's yeah. Progress. It's pretty good. Nice. I'll try and do the last two. Crests. Depending on what the Elder has, it does say help around Meadow, so we may even find time. We don't want to travel? Yeah, but, but we'll, if we have we'll, the progress we'll, on there, we can decide we'll or not, right? clear them this turn, so we'll find out more. Uh, or this round, rather. Um, so I'll have Oru play with the Elder, putting two progress on them, and um, moving along the way. And then I will pet Oru with fitness. It's a sun. Dang. So, mm. more wind, so I don't get a song on my scepter. Uh, but I do succeed at petting Oru to soothe the fatigue and ready Oru. And, and then... then just use it now? I... Yeah. I'll just go ahead and use Oru to clear the Elder. So, I guess I won't, we'll see if it gets discarded, but... Back to 69. We have cleared on progress. Oh, right. You know what? I forgot when I was saying it, it checked for if you've done Lure the Old Bloody Clicker. Of course, that's their mission. <laughs> I didn't oh. put that together. <laughs> There's probably some people in the village that need help, but right now, I don't have time for anything but checking for Old Bloody Clicker's burrows. You ask her what she means, and she finally stops for a moment. Old Bloody Clicker's the biggest, meanest spindle scuttler you ever put two eyes on. Dug tunnels all throughout the grasslands, and if you fall into one, well, let's just say you'd better get out before it hears you and comes clicking. You shiver as she continues. That's bad enough, but I'm worried the Harvest Festival in Meadow, what with all the people dancing and carrying on, may be drawing the devil nearer and nearer. So if you want to help, you can help me track him down before someone gets eaten. We can agree to help and we'll get the Lure Old Bloody Clicker mission. Reminder, find Old Bloody Clicker attached to the mission card. You may choose this option only if you don't have another Lure or Confront mission, or not today. I kind of think we do it. We can. I'm noticing... Um some text on this book. I don't know if we want to say what that is. We probably shouldn't have read it. From a different I, section. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> All right. I won't take my it. eyes have not strayed. Okay. My eyes strayed. And I <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Or I can just tell you guys if you want. <laughs> Up to you. Is it going to be a complete waste? No, no, it's not a complete waste. It's just like. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Do we hate, have time? I hate the old bloody clicker. Does Lure doesn't have to be done in one day, does it? I don't think the quiet one had to be, be done the day you obtained it. Oh, uh, okay. I could be wrong. Um, I did say not, or say not today, but... So it says, when a prey is cleared, yeah. set it aside, arrive at a new location while there's five or more total presence of prey set aside. You know what I think it is, is you don't save the prey that's, that's set aside. Right. That, that is true, yeah. Uh, okay, so old bloody clicker is attached to it. And it has this new red effect. If there are two active predators, exhaust them and return one set-aside prey to the collection. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so it's, of, of course, yeah, it's just like the last time we did it. Right. Which, was, then, which was ten days ago. Right. But Did this clear? Um, yes, we discarded the folder. Whoa! <laughs> Everything okay? Do I need to pause? No, you're good. Okay. Um, okay, so we're adding lure... Oh, bloody... Clicker. Okay. Um, so we just need prey. It doesn't matter where. Yeah, but are we realistically going to get five today and then be able to kill the old bloody clicker, or are we not realistically going to be able to accomplish that? It's a good question. Um, this is actually a great know, quest to find because it's one that we can hold until yeah. the next day. Yes. That, I mean, yeah, that was a big part of why I leaned towards taking it. Um, let's look at the map, because, like, we can essentially, we could head towards Spire and see if we do it along the way. You know what's great, actually, is if we just travel here and, and rest, mm -hmm. then the next day we'll start on this grassland path. Which is a pretty good one for doing this. Which is a great this. one for doing this. Because it has those artillopes and, yeah. And you can, like, you can filter the deck with the grassland. Oh, yeah, we won't search for it and start with it, like, before, but... Right, that was specific to Meadow. Oh. Um, yeah. I see. 
But it still could have. Still, yeah. Still good. Um, yeah, so honestly, I'm okay with like traveling then camping. I, and then I, I think you're right. I think then, then we could do this on our way to Spire, but with a fresh start to the day so that we don't risk having like four points worth of prey and ending the day. Sure. I mean, what do you guys think? What do you think, Drew? Um, I, I still have a lot of deck left, but... Um, I'm fine to persist. I mean, we can try and persist if you want to. Try we could try. also never do this and the old bloody clicker is out of the deck forever, right? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how this works? <laughs> we would also <laughs> never accept another lore quest. We, we, we yeah, that's true. We wouldn't, and, we wouldn't oh, be able darn. to accept the other one. <laughs> and I'm not. Well, yeah. Oh. Do you think there are very many more lures? Like so far, lure has always been one of the like valley set cards, and there's not that many like big bads. Who knows? I, the there's the flying thing thing that follows you, right? No, that's from a biome. That's thing. from a biome. Yeah. yeah. I can't think. I don't know how many lures there are, but they don't seem. No, super there is common. a big. There is a big one in the valley set to a big bird, right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't recall. Hmm. I say we actually do it though, in the spirit of. <laughs> I, 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 I agree. I think it's funny that we could just be like, "All right, we took it out of the clicker." <laughs> now that we're looking for it, it will never show its face. Yeah, uh, I, I do agree that we should do it. Uh, plus, I want that sweet clicker or pet or yeah, whatever. Totally. <laughs> um. Okay, well that was all my action. I guess I'll traverse this and hope that we I clear it minus one, so I did not. Bummer. Oh wait, you no, know, you can't scout my feature. Bummer. Actually, I'll just that back. Um, okay. Uh, and crest is nothing, except for this, but that's not a thing anymore. Yeah, only two. Looking for two active predators. It's funny that yeah, when you're able to just shovel uh, shovel away those um, fields, like you've just neutralized the entire path <laughs> deck so far. <laughs> it's great, the Carbon Forge trial. Yeah, OP. Pretty much. It's pretty good. Um, so we're still one down on traveling. Yeah, I just drew a minus one. I have. I have oh, you have plenty. Oh, okay. You're fine. Okay. I mean, I think I'm done. So I will rest, and since I'm resting with focus energy, it, I get to scout the top card of the path deck. So oh, that's it. And then I'm, I've am i rested. Okay, I'll give me one. You succeed, amazing. And Mountain does nothing. Okay. And then I'll play some trail mix. <laughs> Anyone else doing anything? No. Okay, then we're traveling. Yep. Yep. Okay, and it's north to Spire, so we're traveling to the Green Briar Knoll. Seems that way. I don't think we've been there before. I like it. Cool. Okay. Um, so if you could get working on the path deck, we're still gonna need the grasslands. Sad to say goodbye to. These cards look interesting. The meadow cards. Okay, oh, there'll be something for our next time in, uh, uh, in meadow. Yeah, we never met your horse. A horse. My poor horse. A horse, of course. Your horse domesticated? Is that what you said it was? Domestication. Yeah. Cold Domestication. Horse. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, oh no, travel is before refresh, but the weather will flip <laughs> um, after we finish resolving the travel. Greenbrier Knoll. Uh, Scout one challenge, uh, as a crest effect, scout one challenge card if it has a crest icon. Troubling visions fill your mind, suffer two fatigue. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Uh, double, double, and crest. double crest. Double yeah. crest. And then the arrival set up here, uh, and you're going to need um, three, valley, three valley, valley cards. And then we will draw your challenge can't, card. Can't be the clicker. And that says just draw one path card. Should we read this, uh, oh. this text? Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, right. Um, here, while I'm doing these, someone grab it. Yeah, 24. Okay, here's three for the path deck. And then, um, while you're doing that, draw one challenge card and do the following based on the challenge icon on that card. So I drew a blue. Oh, oh, you did, okay. So it's so just draw one path okay. deck. The head high grass makes it impossible to spot the knoll until the ground slopes upward and you begin to climb a gentle grade. As you finish your ascent, you find yourself on a hilltop. At the summit, you find a dais of 
time-worn and lichen-crusted stone with narrow threads of metal weaving through it. You can see the dulled and uh, patinated threads form distinct patterns, the mark of the Estians. Mm. So before we continue, are we, are we continuing and trying to get the five prey today? Yes? I mean, I think we should do it on the way to Spire. Right before we launch into whatever the next main mission is and have some weird new effect in play. And I agree. So this is this is it then. Like, this is so the way to Spire. You, or do you want to stop, is what I'm saying. Because I'm not sure. Oh, or we could just camp now. Or we could just camp right now. Um, and then we could just keep yeah. playing. We can just, you know, we can just refresh our deck. <laughs> if you guys want to. Um, I should... I don't think I can do another game tonight. Okay. Should, should uh, get dinner figured out, but... Um, I'm up for either one. I think we could do it. Okay. If we try for it. Let's so, go. I think, I think yeah. like, assuming that there's five prey... Five presents worth of prey in the deck, but if we... The annoying thing is that, like, yes, we could travel to Spire and get the rest in the forest pretty easily, but that would arrive to the Spire and trigger whatever's next. Or we could just take a long way to the Spire, I guess. I kind of doubt that there's five prey in this deck. It doesn't have to be five prey, it has to be five presents worth of prey. Mm. Oh. Right? Um, yeah, visually. Do the Artilopes have yeah. one or two presents? I think they were one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we can see. Uh, okay, so Lead Ranger is drawing one path card. From this. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll draw another round of them. Oh, oh it's the Whispering Fields. What do you know? Right, so that tucks one under here. Um, and then three more for our regular draw, right? Right. Okay. Um, I need to do my refresh. Well, I guess we're going to start looking for prey in there. I think so. Uh, someone want to go first? Oh, we've got to draw a card. Oh, and then the way you trigger lure is to arrive at a new location while there's five or more prey. Right. Um, okay, so it would mean we're not camping. It would mean we're at least resolving the next arrival. Uh, yeah. That's annoying. It is annoying. Does, do, does this reset back to... Like, let's say we accomplish this and we get mm -hmm. to the next step, which is confront. Do we keep it on confront for the next day, or do we then have to, if we don't finish this whole thing in one day, restart at the beginning of lure? I don't know. I don't remember. It, I, I had forgotten how that works. Is that what happened? Was it flips to confront? And then we had to fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, if I that don't remember. happens. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know either. <laughs> I guess we'd have to we'd have to read one point four two if we want to learn that information, which we can do or not. Yeah, and I mean, I, I guess trying to think through the letter of the rules, what would decide whether we stay on confront is whether you write confront in your mission log. Right. I don't think you do. Or at least I didn't last. Like we don't have confront in our history from Quiet. Mm. But I don't know, for sure. Should we just check? Because this is something we could remember if we were playing. <laughs> sure. Or... Glance at one point four two. Yeah. Because if we're going to do all this lure work and then and like, get to confront in the yeah. end day and then we have to redo it again the next day. Um, do, 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 uh, oh, this should be flipped, right? Yeah. Good oh, it, okay. It says here, flip the lure over to its confront side, but don't change your mission log. If you don't complete the confrontation today, you will have to track him down again. So it's very clear uh, that right. it is the... So unless we're going to do all of it today, which I don't know if we're going to travel twice, get the prey. <sighs> I mean, we'd only be traveling once. No, because we have to... Well, sorry, well, well we don't know if we can... Assuming there's five yeah, prey in here, which I right. don't think there is. Yeah. Mm. That's a good point. Yeah, so maybe we just camp then. Start here tomorrow. I'm also annoyed, even if we do that, I'm annoyed that then we either have to take a long way to Spire or res or do the confrontation in Spire on top of whatever story thing triggering. Why don't we just get to Spire? And then yeah, we can also we can, just get to Spire. Oh, we can exactly. also just ignore this for now. That's yeah. true. Yeah, maybe that makes the most sense. And then we'll... Yeah. Go. Okay. In that case, just um, shovel the fuck out of this. <laughs> and we <Yeah>. can go. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have as many um, of these icons this time, so it might take me a little bit longer. I'm sad to say. Unacceptable. 
This isn't a being right now. Um, okay, so I will take... Well, and I, I can still um, do... With my touch of the Verdessa, I can do five harm to it. So okay. if you do at least one, I can just finish it off with an event. I will moment. do... I will test for two okay. against it. Uh, so let's see what I got. Plus one is three. Okay. So that's three damage. And a mountain effect, which does nothing. Yeah, so I can go ahead and play... I'm not sure I've played this card before. It was a reward. Um, but uh, Touch of the Verdessa, it's a manifestation, so I have to spend a song. And uh, I... And one fitness. Um, I add one harm to a flora to add four harm or progress to a path card. So I'm going to add one harm to a flora to add four harm to this <laughs> card. Just wiping it out. Nice. So, uh, oh yeah, the Umbra is also in the Valley set. That's the big flyer I was thinking of, so that's probably mm -hmm. another lure somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there was a Predator. No Prey in there at all. Mm. We made the right call. Yeah, seems like it. Um, okay, I will play two awareness for passive room before. And I'm just going to take all four of these. Nice. That's, that's okay. Because I can infuse... Gaining a fitness energy, and then trail mix to draw those four cards. Nice. Cool. I guess I'll just do two tests worth of value while we're waiting, because you sure. have something has to happen in between. Minus one, so I'll throw one progress. <laughs> and nice. then it's a red, so first, ready one predator or prey. There are none. Second, scout a challenge card if it was another crest. Oh, but I scouted it, so I can put yep. this on the bottom. Yep. So I will, because it's a minus one fitness. Okay. Cool. That's interesting. Yeah, scout a challenge card and care about the icon on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, then I will commit one fitness energy. And here's six more. <laughs> and here's six more. So that's 13. Seems good. And minus eight. It is a sun, which would remove a progress. So you eight. get you get 13... Putting it at 14, and then the sun will remove one. So it's back down to 13 out of the nine we need. <laughs> so I think we'll be okay. Good job. Good job. I'm ready to rest. I'm happy to go to, to Spire, unless there's more you guys want to do. No. I think that's fine. Um, so we do want to continue to Spire, see what goes on in the story? Oh, no, just to go there to camp. I think oh, or do we want to go on there for the story? Uh, I'll find another way. Camp. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, we can just, maybe it's going to tell us to go someplace else because we're just going to meet the brother or the sister. And they're going to be like, actually, you should go. We've already been told to go somewhere twice, so yeah. I, hope, I hope that it kicks well, off an actual do something mission. I think um, almost definitely, well, either we're going to have to do a fetch quest for the sister before she helps us, or she's going to tell us where her brother is. True. Right. Yeah, so both will like, involve going Both will involve going somewhere. Well, I mean, everything most game involves going somewhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, yeah, and I, I don't know if there would be a timer on it, but the other upside of, I guess, camping now and triggering it tomorrow is that if there's a two or three day timer on it, then that, like, is pushed mm -hmm. out a day. That's a good point. Right? Mm -hmm. Totally. Okay. I guess we camp there. That's fine. Sure. All right. Well, we did good. We did a lot. We, um, bothered some reclaimers. Yeah. And we bothered their nest. We and learned about them. Yeah. Their secretions. We learned. We learned all about the secretions. So, so many secretions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, so, rem yeah, remove the reclaimers. I wonder how close we are to the end of the main story. Like, doesn't it, then it seems like we're all saved. After we just remove the reclaimers. I wonder if that might be more yeah. complicated than, hmm. than to just remove them. Really? I don't know. Hmm. What do you guys think? I don't see. I think you just shake the right stick at him and all. We're gonna meet the brother, and it's gonna say, "Put five progress on him to remove the reclaimers." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Then, then, then you win the game. <laughs> you clear him, and you can uh, decide whether you want to remove the reclaimers or not today. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, okay. Yeah. Productive day. It was. Um, Pretty intense and interesting and puzzly during the main mission we did, and then kind of anticlimactic <laughs> from there. <laughs> kind of nothing happened the rest of the time, but so such is life sometimes. Uh, cool. All right. Well, um, if you're watching this, thank you. If you have made it 12 days into our campaign and not subscribed to the channel, I don't know that suggesting you do it now will 
<laughs> make a difference. Uh, but if you like the video, that helps us out a lot. And uh, we'll be back sometime soon for Lucky Day 13. Wait, no. This was 11. What day was this? 11 or 12. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot what day it is. This was... No, this was 12. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was second guessing it. All right. This is a great note to end on. <laughs> Uh, you can check out the Game Brain podcast for more insights from Jordan on mostly not this game, but yeah. Most recent episode talked about I think Netrunner. It was Second Wind Games. I was lost when I was on. So games that we initially passed on that we oh. then ended up loving. Okay, so you, you passed on Netrunner? No, no. no. What Netrunner, were you thinking? Netrunner was I was wrong about. I, Netrunner <laughs> didn't really fit into the topic. We also <laughs> talked about some Alexander Pfister games like Boom Lake and some other ones. So. Netrunner was passed on by Fantasy Flight. And then it's still thriving. This it is, is a second kind of wind game. It is a second it's, wind game. Yeah, it is a second wind game. It's yeah. kind of its third wind, right? Because yeah. Android Netrunner is getting its second wind, right. and that was the second wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For and, Netrunner. and parallel to that, this is my third time getting deep into the game. Because I played it, and then oh, I stopped, wow. and then I played it again, and then I stopped, and then I played it again. Huh. I don't really. Other than sort of Magic the Gathering, although I haven't played that almost at all in t at least 10 years, um, I don't really have any games that have done that. Like, been way into and then kind of fallen off of and then gotten back into later. Well, there was a period where the Netrunner meta was meh. So That's that was, fair. That was like the first time yeah. I fell out, I think. Then the second time was when they canceled it and you say, like, or Null Signal wasn't quite in place. And I was like, I don't know if this is really working. Right. And then now it's back in place. I'm like, okay, it's working great. Let's play. Yeah, yeah. I kind of fell off of Netrunner, yeah, as it got long in the tooth at FFG. And then, yeah, I don't know. I haven't um, really built it back into my hobby, but I'd still be happy to play it. Like, I still like it. It's still one of probably the best games. For sure. <laughs> just just <laughs> end of sentence. <laughs> Netrunner is one of the best games. <laughs> Undoubtedly, yeah. All right, uh, we'll be back soon with all sorts of games, including Earthborn Rangers, and who knows, maybe Netrunner. Till then, be optimal. <laughs>